All right, what is happening, everybody? And welcome to the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your host. My name is Mr. Whiskers. And to my right is Poppy K. Dad, how you doing tonight? Live from the Whiskers <laughs> studio. <laughs> Let's get performance mode going here. Oh, my God. There we go. All right. So, this, this is a... Uh, this is a very special, special sports cast tonight. Very special day. Um, well, technically Saturday, right? Technically well, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, but we always did it on Thursday. Yeah, we always. This is the calendar. We 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 started, we started the Pops and Wiz sports cast a year ago. Saturday, this coming Saturday. Mm. It was Thursday night. Everything looked a lot different back then, right? In this room, how we went about our setup mm -hmm. and everything like that before we had the desk and everything in here, before we were sitting in these chairs, you know. That's true. It It is is definitely, over the year, the show has evolved slowly. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it is really exciting to be doing this for a year with you, Pops. Without well, that, same here. And, uh... We only missed three shows. We only missed three. So out of 52 weeks of the year, we missed the two weeks I had COVID, and then the one that we, uh, we, uh, New Year's. the New Year's week. The holiday, yeah. Yo, Graham, what's happening, bro? How you doing, buddy? Cheers. Can I get one? Mm-hmm. I want to show them this beautiful thing. That's right. We're celebrating. We're celebrating tonight. Uh, it's upside down. Yeah, I want to show them like that. There you go. So for Father's Day, I uh, I got pops. This it, it's a baseball bat. It's the end of a baseball bat, hollowed out, treated and everything, and got it customly um, set up so this way it says the Pops and Wiz Sportscast, established January sixteenth, two thousand twenty. And if you look at the other side, at the number one dad over here, right? Hey. No, four. Let's 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 Christian. I let me get my mug over here. <laughs> I don't want to screw this up because I don't think this is all gonna fit. Nah, that, it should. I made sure when I bought that mug yeah. that it was uh, that it would fit an entire beer. Boom. <laughs> Better wait. You doing you're doing fine, Grim. That's what I love to hear, buddy. That's right. what I love to hear, man. How's the weather in Minnesota? We've been lucky. Let me get let me get my mug set up too. Celebrating a year of the pop. So when we started the Pops and Wiz Sportscast, it was uh, we started on YouTube. Yeah. As and actually Grim will remember because Grim Grim would hop in on YouTube, watch us on YouTube, and then like when I did my streams on Twitch, he'd switch to Twitch right, and, and right, watch right. the the gaming live streams on Twitch. Right. And then uh, we made the, you know, what, do you remember when we made the switch to Twitch? About three, four months ago. Three, four months ago? Yeah. Yeah, right? It was like, uh, I was thinking. It was about like beginning of football end, season. Toward, right? Yeah, towards the end of the summer. Yeah. Because we kept saying, you know, well, you kept saying, let's go the other way. Yeah, I brought that. I brought it up because you know, I know, I know you. Uh, you kept telling me you're like, I want to interact with people. I want to talk. I want to yeah, chit chat. Yeah, I want to yeah. hang out. Is Grim watching the uh, football playoffs without his team involved? I'm gonna ask him. I'm asking. He's asking you, Grim. Oh, are you, you are you done? You know, my Giants are done, but I'm still watching. Oh yeah, I gotta watch the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Crazy weekend this weekend. Wow. Yeah, when we get you know we we get to the picks and everything, it's yeah, this is gonna be a tougher week in picks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way we're gonna do the picks too, I'll just say it now. I'll say it again later after the first break. Uh, <laughs> but since I won last week, yep, you went five and one. I went five and one. Pops went four and two. Mm -hmm. So I'll pick first, and then Pops will pick second. So this way, there's no there's no way I can cheat the system, you know. Because I already got the one win. I can just copy all your picks. Yeah. But I'll pick first. But you could lose all of them, too. <laughs> I know, but all I needed all I needed was that one win. I know. 
Right? Right? I need you to lose two and I gotta go four and oh. Well <laughs> I'm I'm pretty confident in my picks this week, everybody. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna go obviously we're gonna go over some football talk. Uh, we're gonna go over the previous games in this episode. Uh, we're gonna set up Pop's picks. We're gonna obviously do that. Yep. And uh, we also have a nice little surprise to celebrate the year. The year anniversary of the show. Yep. Um, we have the first... We're going to pull up the first episode that we ever did live on YouTube. And uh, and just watch a couple minutes of it. Just to see what it looked like then. And uh, yeah, we how, how it looks 12, now. 12 months younger. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, that means a lot. There you go. There you go. But Dad, cheers. Cheers. This is this has been so much fun this year. Funny drinking out of a bat, but <laughs> is it really? Does it feel weird? Yeah. Is it is it going down smooth or is it oh, like? Oh, it's fine. Okay. No, Listen, we wanted to. So I bought him. I bought him this mug mm. for Father's Day, yep. right in June, and uh, he never drank out of it. I was like, what the hell, man? And he's like, ah, I just I want to save it. I want to put it, you know, I want to... Well, today's the day. And now we christened it for the first time today. Yep. Fitting. And hopefully Fitting. we'll do it again next year. Oh, yeah. We'll make it a year a year thing. Oh, yeah. We'll break out Papa K's mug. Yeah. <laughs> Did Graham answer about he's watching? No, not yet. Okay. No. I'm, 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 I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Okay. I'll let you know. So everything's going on right now. You got the hockey start today. Basketball, if you're into it, yeah. and these major, you know, football games coming up this weekend. And the past weekend was crazy. This this weekend. What was the craziest game you think? The craziest game I watched, and this was definitely it was one of the games I said I was most excited about last week when we were doing pops picks. Yeah. The Browns Steelers game Me too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Boom! What a crazy Like, game. what a way for that game to start. Yeah. Steelers have the ball. Look, it was the first snap. Bad snap. First snap, bad snap. Goes over Roethlisberger's head Touchdown. into the end zone. <laughs> they come in, get on the ball. Touchdown. Seven points hit. Seven points. First, like, few minutes of the game. It's got 28 points before you could blink. Yeah. And it was just, uh, just, just seeing how, like, yeah, I mean, I feel like that, that right there, the way that game started was the total momentum kill for the Steelers. Yeah. Because after that, it took them, it literally took them a whole quarter to like kind of like settle back down and get it's back to what the Steelers are known for. Yeah, yeah. But at that point, the damage was done because mm-hmm. Big Ben throws two picks. Yeah. Four I think in the again. first in the first quarter. Yeah. Um. Which cost them all those points. Cost them, like, I think there was 23, 24 points right off the bat. Something like that. It yeah. was around 24, 25 points in the first quarter that the, literally, Some turnovers. the Browns offense didn't have to do anything. Ba- Baker Mayfield, you know, yeah. it was just it was just the Browns defense just just taking, taking advantage of, of, of this Unbelievable. whole situation. It was Crazy. The worst game uh, I was disappointed was Seattle. You know, I picked them, and they showed nothing. Yeah. Here's a Graham quarterback with a, you know, surgery thing thumb. And he wasn't great, but he didn't have to be. The defense kind of won the game. Yeah. What did they do this week? I don't know. Well, so that was an interesting game. Yeah. They were all interesting, really. Buffalo Bills game. The Bills Very. game. And I told uh, a friend of mine today, Dan, I said, and he agreed with me. He said, the Colts, coach, blew that game with his calls. Yeah. Fourth and four, you were on the one-yard line. You couldn't score, right? Three three times. Fourth and four, he doesn't go for the field goal. It's early second quarter. What did they lose by? Three points. Does Goes for the two-point conversion instead of the uh, extra point. He gave away four points. They could have won that game, 28-27. All right. Yeah. 
Because the Buffalo Bills, no offense to Buffalo Bills fans, you know, we have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. They, they didn't play really good. Yeah. You know, well, Philip Rivers could have beat them in that game, but, you know. Didn't just, happen. No, it's just the way that, you know, the ball bounces sometimes. And the decision-making was very poor, I think, on Frank Wright, who's an ex-quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Maybe he felt like, oh, i got to beat these guys, you know, my ex-team. Now, do you know, do you know, here, you know what, can we, can we do something? Good. I don't have the stand set up, but hold on. I'm going to set the stand up, right? For, for when we do Pops Picks. But just because we're talking about it right now, I want everybody to remember, and look at this. Mm -hmm. And these were the picks. And Grim, your lock, was that, you know, we were, all, we were all feeling New Orleans there. That was definitely a good lock right there. Yeah. All right? Now, one of the games I really want to talk about here is this uh, Ravens-Titans game, which this was the one game that Pops and I differed on. Yeah. And I said, remember what I said, Pops? Mm -hmm. Chat, chat, you know, everybody that was there Thursday remembers what I said is that the Titans, they have Derrick Henry, right? Yeah. Guys had a monster season. Unbelievable season. With 2,000 yards rushing? 2,035. 2,035 yards rushing during the regular season. That's maddening. It's madness. Eighth that. player to do it. Eighth player in yeah. history. NFL history, yeah. Who was the first? Right. Uh, do you know? Of course. Who is it? OJ. OJ Simpson? Mm -hmm. So we're going back to the first player doing OJ Simpson to now. Derrick Henry runs for 2,000 yards. Yeah, yeah, that Saints game, Grim. Mm. They didn't play great. They didn't, listen. Chicago was just. Remember that guy they dropped just, the ball, that touchdown? I told you that was crucial. In the first oh, my quarter, God. Right through his hands? Adam wide open. Mims or something like that his name was? Wide open. That took, that was the turning point after that. You know, it would have been a tie game. I looked at that. I, 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 the emotions. I didn't know how to feel there. I was like, dude. Mm -hmm. How did he drop that and ball? How did he feel? Oh. Like, you know, like, there was a moment he sat down, he didn't look at anybody, he didn't talk to anybody, like, you know, you, well, you, rightfully you, you could say, he, was, he was feeling feel it. feel terrible. He's probably, uh, you know, hopefully he comes back to the team. He is, he's got talent. Oh, yeah. But you got to learn how to, you know, catch the ball. Dude. That's a big issue in, in pro uh, football. And I had called, and this is what I said. I said, you know, when we talked about it Thursday, yeah. I said, really... My feelings on this are, you know, you know, Baltimore Ravens, going back to the Baltimore Ravens game, Yeah, their defense is going to have to make sure that Derrick Henry doesn't get started up. Because once he gets started up, oh, yeah. you ain't stopping him. And I just felt that, you know, they were going to keep their guys on the line, right? But they were going to keep some guys right there, some linebackers ready. Right. Plug the holes, need be. Don't forget the Titans had a ten point lead. They wanted and to nothing. force they wanted to force the Titans to throw the ball. Right. And, and they did, did and it did. worked. It and I, worked. I, and I disagree. Remember I told you that one play? He got eight yards. It was late in the game. It was fourth quarter. I know that was the most he had all game. Yeah, but it's on a forty yard line of uh the Ravens. Second and two, third and two. They throw the ball. Now, you disagree with me. I, I would have given it to him one more time. See, that's the thing, though, is I, I do... I do Three yards? I disagree with you in the sense that that's what they're looking for. Yeah. But that's he's a with their game plan. Not Yeah, I know. But that, I know you're saying he's a bulldog. But here's the thing is the Ravens had a plan. They had a game plan, and the game plan worked. The Titans fell right into it. And the it. Titans, they were feeling it because the fact that it took... To the fourth quarter for him to get eight yards for the first time but all again, game. again, he got eight yards. Give him the ball again. Yeah, I know, but it was the first time all game. Doesn't matter. Maybe he comes on strong. It worked. He didn't come on strong for three quarters. That and that's nothing against Derrick Henry. I'm not going against Derrick Henry as a running back. It's not that they stopped giving him the ball. It's that he, they couldn't generate any momentum. Because the, the Ravens had a better game plan. They knew that, listen, their passing game is suspect. Mm. They're counting on this guy to bulldog his way through everybody, 
and, and get those massive, like, you know, 150, 200 yards right, right, a right. game. Right. And they, they, they shut him down. They shut down they the key the weapon. They, they watched the, the they films. They beat him on the line. They shut him down on the line, and yeah. there was nothing he could do about it. Remember what we always talk about. They who, forced who wins, the Titans who, to throw. Who wins the ball games? The guys in the trenches. Mm-hmm. Whether it's the offensive line or the defensive line. Facts. And the offensive line couldn't do nothing to open holes for him. Now, this guy's, what, 260, 6'4"? No, he's a big dude. He can bolt run through anybody. And fast, when, too. When the holes aren't there. Fast. I don't give a damn how big you are. No matter who you are. Yeah. You know, remember our guy. Very hard. Jacobs. He ran guys over, but he had the openings. Then, not even that, though, is that even with Jacobs, though, I'm going to name two guys. I'm going to name two guys right now. Yeah. Jacobs, one of them, right? Mm-hmm. Jacobs, when the hole's open, Jacobs can get that momentum going. Yeah, and he'd run and over. He'd run guys. guys over. And then, after that first, first or second season, they saw him, he started mm-hmm. going for his legs, his ankles. They stopped yeah. trying to hit him in the mid Yeah, he couldn't tackle chest. him by the chest. He'll, he'll he knock was, your ass out. He ran guys over, let go, let go. Like a bulldozer. They start learning. Grab his grab his feet. Yeah. Trip him up. You gotta trip him up. It's the same give, thing the guy on the Saints. I give you I'll give you another one too. I'll give yeah. you another one. Not the Saints. The Seahawks. Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah. Year one, right? I'm telling you. Friggin' hold on a second. I'm heading back to my place, but I'll be back. Alright, Grim. Safe trip back to your spot, my man. So Ezekiel Elliott. First first year in with the Dallas Cowboys has a phenomenal season, right? First that four. offensive line, the first four, thank you. Phenomenal offensive line, bam, opening the holes. This guy's taking off like a mad like a madman. Yeah. But then they, you know, they they figure they figure they figure these things out. I'm not saying that is Eagle Elliott's lost his step or any way. Plus his offensive line got totally it, demolished it, yeah, by it, injuries. It, it, injuries, yeah. It wasn't the same Chemistry. He, he fumbled once in those four years, they said. He fumbled five times mm-hmm. in the first part of the season. Yeah. He now was that's getting. That's not the offensive line's fault. That's his fault. But but regardless, this is what I'm talking about. People is figured him out. And he's not big. No. He's, just, he's fast. Yeah, but he's not big. He's not six foot four, like 260. No, I know. At best, he's maybe 210. But they figured out Derrick Henry. They knew what the game plan was going to mm-hmm. be is that we need to shut down the run. And we need to force him to pass mm-hmm. because, you know what, Ravens were confident that, that the passing game wasn't going to succeed. And guess what? Shocking, too, because they have damn good receivers. Guess what? See, and this is one thing I tell Papa K. Pass. Mm. And you even admitted this on the phone. Mm. Was when you're looking at these games and you're making your picks, you're thinking about the quarterback. Yes. I do. But there's Especially more, in playoffs. There's not during the regular season. I know, but there's more than just the quarterback oh, obviously, in the playoffs. Obviously. You have to think about a team's strengths and weaknesses and how they're gonna how it's gonna be yeah. approached. You don't protect the quarterback, he's in trouble. Yeah. Tip of his M. I know, but great. if you don't open if you don't open holes, same thing. Yeah. Running backs in trouble. Right. If you don't protect if you're a running base holes, team. Yeah, open holes or protect the quarterback. No. Yeah. Nine out of ten times, you're probably gonna lose that game. Because that means the defense is beating the crap out of you on the line. The, line. Yeah. the trenches. The trenches is what they always called it, yeah. I'm going to put this over here. I don't like reaching over my beer for peanuts. It's starting to annoy me. <laughs> no, there was a couple of games. Uh, the Saints game, like I said, they weren't, you know, the Bears just stink, no offense. But uh, they didn't blow them out. I well, mean, it was 21-9. to nine. It was, it, to, to be fair. Chicago's the, the bear, here, listen, 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 li- listen. When we looked at when we looked at this past weekend, mm. two teams that you know, made the playoffs, but we both knew We're not going that it was going to take a lot of hopes and prayers. Chicago, Washington, Washington. Yeah. You know, and for Washington, Washington wins the division. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, they did. They did, but I'm still. You know, you oh, know, you know me, game. you know me, because of the game. Not gonna get into it. No. Not gonna get into Past it again. Yeah. Fast dance, water under the bridge. Yep. But you know, the Bears, they get into the playoffs because they needed somebody to lose. Somebody lost. They Arizona, made their way in. Arizona lost. They got in. Arizona Man, they got loses. killed by Green Bay that day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 
Usually that's the way it works. It's rare. Our Giants did it at nine and seven, and won all the road games. Mm-hmm. But it's rare. But yeah, that as 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 we like to call it, that Cinderella story. Yeah. It's once in a blue moon. Yeah. You don't know, and, and every year you try to figure out in the playoffs. Everything's got to go right. Who's that Cinder? Could there be a Cinderella team this year? Right now? I don't think so. You so you know who I predict. Right? You have right now. You got the Bucks. No, I mean the Super Bowl. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm just going over this weekend. I'm not with that. We're not at the Super Bowl yet. No, no, no. I'm just going over this weekend. We got the Bucks. We got Bills. Right. We got Packers. Yes. And we got Baltimore. All right. No, Baltimore is playing the Bills. You got KC. Is KC. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I'm going over all the teams that are still in it right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you were who's facing who. No, 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 no. I'm just naming the teams. That oh, are yeah, yeah, yeah. You got eight teams. Just naming the teams that are in Eight teams. Yeah, yeah. Eight teams left. But these... These these, these are good teams, though. Exactly. That's what that's what I'm getting to. Anything could happen. I know our darling, uh, my daughter, your sister is a big Bills fan, but they're going to have trouble. You need one? Yeah. They're going to have trouble. If they can't stop Lamar, they're going to be in trouble. If they can keep him in the pocket... And not go lateral, they'll win this game. But if he gets outside that pocket and runs like crazy, forget it. Another issue. Forget it. Uh, and the Bills got to play better. You know they got two great receivers, Stephon Diggs, and that guy Beasley, the ex-Cowboy, who yeah. has tremendous hands. I don't know how the hell Dallas let him go. Third down and eight, go to him. Yeah, I'm right. telling you. No, the no, guy, I don't. He's like glue on his fingers. He's, 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 he makes phenomenal catches. And Stefan Diggs, obviously, he speaks for himself. The guy's phenomenal. I think, I think to a degree, certain players. Yeah. Maybe they get traded, they get let go, right? Mm-hmm. Um, contracts up. Yeah. You see. That there are points to prove. So, like you said, how did the Cowboys let this guy go? They don't want to pay him. That, and that right there, you're thinking like they thought he was washed up. That's that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then that 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 you know because it's it, I feel that it's events like that that kickstart something in a player's head. They go, oh, you think I'm done? But well, Minnesota. You yeah. think, but then, right? Do you? Uh, I know. You, you, I know you hear what you I'm know. saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you? you know, I'm gonna show you. You think I'm done? I'm gonna show you. Like you know, you know, Aaron Rodgers was sitting there going. It's going to be MVP. You drafted a quarterback. Yeah. yeah. And this is the final final year of my contract? <laughs> all right, let me blow you all away. Speaking of him, what do you think? I spoke to a friend of mine again, Dan. He goes, if the Packers don't re-sign him, they're out of their mind. I don't give a damn that he's 36 or whatever. 38? No, no, he's not 38. Hey, Google, how old is Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers is 37 years old. 37. All right, we were both wrong. We were both wrong. But still, this guy's still... At Brady's 42, he's throwing, he's throwing darts. Aaron Rodgers, I know, has not lost a step. I wouldn't sign he up for a long term. He obviously is throwing like like two, two years. years. Two years. Ah, we agreed. Yeah. We agreed. Two years tops. Yo, Nikki, what's happening? Yeah, because, uh, you know, this guy's throwing the ball like, I'm, like I've never seen him throw since the time he won the Super Bowl. Now hold on, Pops. Grab that again. Nikki, we are, right now, we are celebrating. Bring that bad boy up. I got this for Poppy K for Father's Day last year. We started the Pops and Wiz Sportscast on January 16th of last year. We are on our year anniversary of starting this show. Yep. So, obviously, it's uh, Saturday is the year, right? But we do this every yeah, Thursday. Because we are it was today. celebrating. It was today. Celebrating. He finally christened it, too, because I got that for him in June, and he he never drank out of it. So now it's really fitting. We christened it today. Mm-hmm. We're going to, and this is this going to be a fun episode. It's going to be a fun oh, yeah, episode. Yeah. We're going to, obviously, you know, we do pop sticks and everything, right? But, but Nikki, we also are going to go back. Down memory lane to episode one of the 
Pops and Wiz Sportscast when we first started off, just mm. to see how, how how different it looks from back then. Yeah, my hair is still gray. <laughs> you look great. What are you talking about? No, gray. I said my hair. I know. I know what you said, and I said you look great. No, I feel great. Yeah, I'm going great too. Yeah. <laughs> well, how was your day, Nikki? How you doing? Mm. That's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we're talking right now about how the uh, the playoffs went this past week. Did we talk every game? We said New Orleans. I, I didn't I, catch I, every game, though. Okay, yeah. No, uh, we talked about Cleveland-Pittsburgh. Cleveland, uh, Pittsburgh just pretty much, to me, gave that game. They shot them, yeah, they, they shot themselves in the foot. Bills barely got by. <laughs> Poor decisions by Frank Wright. Uh, Seattle? Russell Wilson did nothing. I don't know how the Rams defense just, you know, shut him down. And they did. Yeah. Uh, what was the other game? We, we, we oh, just went uh, over Baltimore. Oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? What's, okay, what's going on, Kate? Everything all right? Hang out with us. We'll cheer you up. Who's that? Kate is uh, Nikki's daughter. Okay. We'll cheer you up. Especially when you see... How, like, hilarious the first episode of this show was. Like, we did not know what we were doing at all. And I think we still, like, we got a better grasp on things now. I hope so. Ha! <laughs> Ken. A little bit. A little bit. Try to think of the other games. Where's that board? It's right there. Come here. I'll tell you what they are. Don't touch it. All right, we said Cleveland, Pittsburgh. Colts, Bills, Rams, Seattle, Bucks, Washington. Bucks, oh, uh, yeah, Bucks, you know, forget it, Washington. Uh, I give credit to that quarterback, though. So you never played a game. And he comes in, and he, you know, they only lose by eight. What else? What was the other one? Hey, we went over every game. We did? Yeah. Okay. Every game confirmed. We've gone over it. It's crazy. Now we got four games. We got Packers, Ra- Rams. We got uh, Kansas City, Cleveland, I believe. <sighs> we got... Buffalo, Ravens. Uh, which one am I forgetting? There's one more. Buffalo, wait, wait. <laughs> um, New Orleans? Did you say New Orleans? New Orleans and the Bucks. New yeah. Orleans and the Bucks. That's going to be the main game they claim. Oh, I kind of disagree. I think I think the the Buffalo. Uh, Ravens game is going to be major. Oh my God! What? That's crazy. Oh, her and his mom. Okay. That's mad. Uh. Kate, Kate, and her boyfriend broke up, and oh. they, you know, it got a little escalated. Sorry to hear that. But yeah, listen, there's, pl- there's plenty of fish in the sea. Life goes on. Yeah. I mean, don't, hurts, don't, don't, don't. Hurts don't. in the beginning. Trust me, I know. When I was 19, this young lady broke my heart. It took me a while. Then I realized I was being used. <laughs> yeah. That's all I have to say about that. But, you know, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that it didn't escalate too far, Nikki. Yeah. So, yeah, no. Like I said, you meet somebody else, boom. All of a man. sudden, where were you? <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, relationships are, uh, you know, it's... Tough, 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 tough. Watch sports. <laughs> Watch you know sports. Because sports takes your mind off of other things, in my opinion. There were times I was really down and out, you know, and then I'd watch a game and I was like, I forget about what I was mad about. Yeah, yeah. Or upset about. Sports, yes. Watch sports. You know, and I'm sure right now, with basketball going on, oh, that's craziness going on. I mean, it's on, it's on that swing. Oh my God! Yo, ho, welcome back, Grim. Welcome back, buddy. Freaking, I'm even interested to watch. You know, I haven't watched basketball in a very long time. I'm, I'm watching. interested. Nick, I, I know you've been watching. Knicks are really sucking right now again. And how about that though? Hmm. The Nets signing James Harden. Yeah. How about that? So what do they got? They got... Gave up a lot. I know. Could have hurt them down I know. Until like 2027 or some crap. Whatever. Yeah. Right now, like you... You know what, though? You said it. Yeah. 
He said it. What are you pointing fingers at me for? What did I say? I'm going to say what you said. <laughs> I'm going to say what you said. They, the Nets, want a championship today. Yeah. Now. Not in 2027. Not to see how things pan out. What's yo, biggest? James Harden wanted to come over here. He said, yo, I want to go. But he did it the wrong way. I want to go to Brooklyn. He said to his owners. That's right. And, and his coach, beginning of the season, he goes, I don't want to be here anymore. Get rid of me. So, you know, he made, he makes a lot of money. So he played like crap. And they think on purpose. Just to get out of there. He okay. told him, you know, listen, listen, listen. Will you tell somebody, hey, yeah. I don't want to be here? And they go, well, it's not you're easy gonna... like that. He's making $40 million. Yeah. It is easy like that because you know what? Yeah. But if you don't want to play, get out. But the biggest headache right now, now we're talking about baskets real fast, is Kyrie Irving. That's what I'm, yeah. Am I That's what I was asking. Got Am Durant, I Irving, and now Harden. Yeah. But none of them can play defense. But you None know what? I don't think I don't think the Nets are going into this with a, with a defensive mind standpoint. I think they're they're, now I'm, th- I'm thinking they're sitting there saying, mm-hmm. you know, we're going to score 130, 140 points, 120 points a game. But what I told you earlier, there's only one basketball on the court. I and mean, I know, I know. How many, how there's three guys, superstars. Yeah. Who's going to have the ball? Who's going to want the ball all the time? The other two guys, forget it. They were out in the picture. And I remember if Kyrie comes back. By the way. They, uh, Stephen A. Smith was on the Michael K. show today. He says, disgraceful, you don't want to play? Retire. Get the hell out of here. And the next, the Nets could not have to pay him. Yeah. But, you know, like you said, though, that's a lot of money on the table. He's not going to go, I'm not retiring. It's weird, though, that you could sit there and not, like, okay, listen. I, I don't want to speak for Irving, right? I, I don't know what he's going through right now. He said it was some political shit. All right, that's a problem. He's not telling anybody. He's not. Nobody knows. It could be really personal. I don't know. I don't want to sit there and attack the guy. Mm, they have. I get it. I don't want to sit there and attack the guy because until I know like why he's doing what he's doing. But that's the thing though. Like if I didn't show up to my job for mm. like three days. I don't have a fucking job anymore. Yeah. They think he needs help. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, like, like therapy or something? Yeah. Shit? Really? That's what Stephen A. Smith said. Today. And he knows basketball. That guy's the number one whiz on basketball. He said, this is a quote. He says, all right, you are issues about the capital thing and what's going on in the world with COVID. He goes, walk and chew gum at the same time. Play basketball and give your views over here. Yeah, you know, That's like you know, what yeah. they tell you like, you don't bring. Work. Play it again. You're making thirty million a year. You don't bring. You don't bring home to work. You don't bring work home with you. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It kind of it kind of fits there, a little bit. And there's no problem. He he's on video celebrating his sister's birthday. I know he was at a party. No man. No he's already going to be uh, penalized by the NBA. Who's going to take over this investigation, by the way? So, like, that's, that's, and that right there is like that, the fact that, now here's the thing, though. You said it was his sister's place? Sister's birthday, yeah. 30th birthday. Who? Who televises that, right? Who puts it on the who, video? Yeah, who put that video out there? They did. They did. <laughs> like, you know, he's got to be sitting there going, listen, guys. Isn't that all time stupid, though? It was not a bright move. Because I was sitting there, my first thought was like paparazzis or something, right, Jack? No. I'm like, yo, somebody did some real they shitty things right there. And, Facebook and, you know, social media. You know, he was sitting there and he was like, with his camera, just... No, he's there dancing. No mess. Nothing. And the protocol in the NBA, like in any sport, if you have private things, you got to have a mess. Just stop that before I punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's really, I, we don't know what's going on. He's a phenomenal player. <coughs> He's one of the top five players yeah. in the NBA. But if you don't want to play, go. You at least have to give, like, a solid concrete reason. Because, like, there's, there's a, you know, again, I don't make $40 million. If I took an hour-long lunch break <laughs> because, you know, I didn't like what I saw on the news. Yeah. Again, 
I don't got a job anymore. No. Yo, Swift, thank you. Thank you, Swift. Swift says happy anniversary. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thank a you. year into this show, and we're still not sick of each other yet? Never. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Then they asked uh, Stephen Smith, would anybody want to go near him if the uh, Nets want to trade him? He goes, not with a 50-foot pole. Mm. Then he says, who wants a guy with these issues and headaches that you don't know if he wants to come back? A talented play. You know who he reminds me of? A little bit? Of Antonio Brown, who's now playing great for the Bucks, right? Remember yeah. his craziness? Right? Oh, yeah. Turned down $30 million. Because, you know, and then he issues. changed it around. And then like, like, his, three his different approach teams. on social media changed. Now, now he woke up. Now he's going to the playoffs, possibly to the Super Bowl with Tom Brady. He's playing his best football right now. Could you imagine? Yeah. And they got a great receiver. And you Mike know what, Evans. though? And that's the thing, though. Is So you were sitting there saying with the Brooklyn Nets, you have there's only one basketball, right? Yeah, yeah. And you got Durant, Irving, now Harden, yeah. right? And you were like, how would they... Uh, you know, with one ball, you know. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to shoot. Everybody wants to, everybody, somebody's got to shoot. Well, guess what? Yeah. The Bucks figured it out. You got the talent of Mike Evans, Antonio yeah. Brown on the team. But that's the difference of getting the ball. He, he can throw the ball to seven different guys if he wants to. Yeah, I know, but that's the, the thing. is five, five guys can pass the ball to each other yeah, and but, take the shot. Yeah, who's going to shoot, though? And by the way, all three are not good defenders. I know. You, yeah. you said that already. I didn't say it. What's his name? Uh, I know, but uh, you did coach. bring it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, basketball, if you don't play defense, I don't give a damn. You could win a hundred. You could lose one hundred thirty-eight to one hundred thirty-six. You know, New Orleans. The Saints can't play, can't play defense, and they're winning games. Well, they say they are good defense. Artificial. What's happening, man? How you Artificial doing? Artificial flowers. Dum dum flowers. Ah, RT. Wait, Official. <laughs> This no, you got to play defense. Got to play defense. First of all, they don't know if Kyrie's coming back. So that might be a blessing for the Nets, just to have Harden and Durant. Durant's probably one of the best players besides LeBron. Hold yeah. on a second. I, gotta, I want to hold that thought there for a second. got to throw something at Artificial. Artificial. Go, go, go. go. You know, some, you know I like, uh, man of my word, I said, there was some Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront 2 was going down this past Tuesday. I put it out there. It was, it was fun. It was a good time. Um, I, 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 I lost a lot of games in the beginning, but I did throw down some more Battlefront 2 for you. Um, it should still be in the videos, like the archives or some shit like that. But uh, let me just warn you right off the bat, the first couple games did not. It was, I got my ass kicked. But then I started winning. And that was fun. You're making me all misty eyed. I'm making it ah! <laughs> Classic line from Al Pacino. Scent of a Woman. Great movie. Great movie. Academy Oscar winner. Yes, Zoe. Hmm. Wait. You tell me Al Pacino mm -hmm. only has one Oscar? Scent of a Woman. Wow, that's crazy. Well, he was up for it in Godfather. One or two. Yo, I Marlon Brando won it. In the first one. In the second one, he didn't win either. Artificials asking how we're doing, Pops. Doing great. We're doing awesome. We're celebrating the year anniversary of when we started this show. Yep. We started on YouTube. And we're gonna get in we're gonna get into that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you guys wanna see do you guys wanna see that now or do you wanna wait till yeah, later I on? See old bastard like me. Oh, what are you talking about? They're tuning in now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and 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 a year ago you were twelve months younger. True. Gonna be 70 on Tuesday. Right, right, right. Nikki says yes, yes, wants to see it now. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know. We'll talk about it afterwards. This is, this is gonna be. Now, remember. So, going back to January 16th, mm -hmm. give you a little, little build up. Give you a little build up. Yeah. I remember in December, I'm sitting there. And I'm arguing with you. Which we always did. I think it was like Christmas. Why we started it was Christ the show. It was Christmas Eve. We're arguing about sports and the drum plays. 
And I'm sitting there, and I'm going back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, we never see eye to eye. And then I froze for a second. I was like, Dad, do you want to live stream with me? We'll do a sports show. And he didn't even hesitate. He goes, yes. Also, you don't know what you're talking about. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little bit more experience, but not too much. You have a lot more. You have a lot more knowledge on sports than I do. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm ever. just like, I'm, I'm, I'm like the dude in the corner, that's just like you know, the guy that keeps ranting and people stop paying attention to. You gotta remember, I've been following sports since 61 years now. 61 years. How many people can say that? Oh, thank you, Nikki. Nikki says you guys are naturals. Natural, yeah. By the way, cheers, chat. Yeah. Will naturally never agree. That's why he's five and one, and I'm four and two. That's why he's picking first tonight. So maybe I can get even. He'll probably pick all the teams that I want to uh, pick anyway. So, but you never know. I don't know. I think you know what would be great if they could create a football game, right? Because Papa K, the best I could do right now is get him to play home run derby. All right. Mm. That's the entertainment. <laughs> yeah. So, the best I could do is get. Could you imagine if they if we get a football game, right? Mm. That we can play together. But all we have to do is just be coaches on the sideline. Mm. Like mm. you pick, you know, your defense and offensive plays. I pick mine, mm. Mm. and we face off based on RNG. RNG is a random number generator. So basically, it's just like you know, whatever happens, happens. Okay. Could be a fumble, could be an interception, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that would be a fun, like you know, you get like each each button on the controller is a play. I may start learning this stuff. Some, some Don't forget, I'm getting into fantasy, so you got to start teaching. I know. Me. This I, coming year, I may even get a laptop. Don't faint now. <laughs> I know, pops. Yeah, yeah. Pops might get the internet back in his house. Yeah, yeah. He'll teach me how to do this, and I'm probably gonna either really lose bad. Or kick their ass. Don't don't tell anybody. But yeah, pops pops is actually upgrading instead of downgrading. Take it easy. <laughs> want the world to notice. <laughs> oh, it's out there now. It's all across the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, uh, I'm excited for you because you know what? If there was, if we had like an actual like studio, 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 mm. right? Like with crazy equipment and shit like that, dude, we would live stream the draft. But I can barely get, like, you know, this laptop to do the shit I want it to do right now. Yeah. Because, like, you know, I, I got it all planned down in my the road, head. Down the road. I got it all planned. <laughs> you playing some BF2, man? Oh, artificial, I did I did figure some shit out. I don't have it open right now, but... What's BF2? Uh, Battlefront 2. Oh. But, you know, why don't, why, don't, why, don't you, uh, why don't you type in exclamation mark... Discord this time around. <laughs> I figured some stuff out. I'm an ass. There's something wrong with me. Anyways. <laughs> no issues. So, let's get into this. Are you ready? You ready, everybody? What? We are going to watch... Okay. Our first Pops and Wiz Sportscast on YouTube... Right now. What did I put it under? I put it under here. That's right. We only had like one shirt, Jeter. I think we were sitting on the couch together. Now, I don't know exactly how the audio is going to go here. There you go. Right, you got it. <laughs> I don't see nothing. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so Artificial has been asking me to create a Discord. And it's, it's taken me some time to figure out how to get to work. I still have a lot to learn. But I, I told you I was going to work on it, Artificial, and, and we, we got it. We got it. Now we're going to go... I love these names they get. <laughs> Dude, I told... I love, I love it. I told my supervisor at work, he goes, hey, you know, oh, you're going to be having some beers tonight? It's Thirsty Thursday. And I was like, it's the one-year anniversary of the show. Mm-hmm. And he goes, I gotta, what, what is the name of you? What, 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 how do I find you? I gotta check this out. And I told him, I go, Mr. Whiskers. And he just looked, yeah, I wrote it, I wrote it down. I wrote it down and he goes, ah, that's a great name. I get like, it's the Mr. Whiskers thing. I, I, it's perfect. But it's been 50-50. 
Because I've had people that have told me to leave Call of Duty lobbies because they were like, Mr. Whiskers, this is a stupid name, leave the lobby now. And I'm like, wow. I didn't know that. And this happened, it's happened in the past. Okay. I'm like, nah, man, I'm the cat that's got nine lives. <laughs> that's right. All right, pops. All right. So listen, today, yeah. Today is a very, very special day, and this right here, everybody, is the Pops and Wiz episode one. Now, mind you, everything looks so different. Dad, get your glasses. You're going to need your glasses for this one. I couldn't put it on the big screen, so this is going to be funny. Now, I, I don't... I can see distance. I can't see close. I don't know see, how the audio cooler. is going to go here. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a go. Maybe maybe you know you and maybe there's an echo effect. We're not gonna do this. Uh, we're not gonna watch the whole thing. It's two hours. No, it's a couple. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. We had music going back then. That's when we were playing music. That's right. Get Sorry, I had to I had to pause that real quick. Look at you, look at that, look at you, acting like an idiot. All what, right. What, 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 nothing's changed. What is happening, everybody? Look at this. This is our new uh, sports cast. Look, the microphone's uh, in the shot. Sports cast. My name's Mr. Whiskers, and this is Papa K. How's it going, man? Oh, wonderful. All right. And uh, basically on this, we're just going to be talking about sports, some of the uh, things going on lately, oh. and uh, oh. some of the stuff that we're interested in. Look at in. these two dudes. So, cheers, Dad. <laughs> wow, we didn't, we didn't even cover the bottles. <laughs> no, we have nothing, nothing in the background yet, at this we point. We have a jersey. This, uh, if we like how uh, everything turned out. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you, yeah. Artificial. I know, right, yeah, Swift? Can, can Look at how far we've come from this, this point. Was, this was right uh, two weeks there before we the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, all right, so we we're set to go. It now, seems like everything's here, here's what's race. hilarious about just, this. Uh, As you see, we're sitting on the couch that's behind us right now. Mm-hmm. So that, that, you know, that's how we had the show set up. We had an ottoman in this room. And in order to get the camera to be kind of level yeah, with us, so you weren't looking at our like you know this area of our our face, so, you know the chin. A lot of <laughs> lot of interesting. Remember, remember we used to lately, we as we were getting so ready, pops would have. Got cheating in I had my right? two. Oh, um, I can't believe what's going on. What's it called? All these talented players have to resort. To um, I had graphic novels. Yeah, I heard today like on my Walking Dead radio. graphic novels that are so like this thick. Officially and pop, we would stack them no up to put the laptop the on top of them. Yeah, right. Remember that? that? Yeah. Before he even got started. Mm-hmm. Getting yeah. all this together. And, uh, look at, look this, at her uh, background, too. Signs, correct? <laughs> <laughs> with, the, uh, with the video, which is illegal. Yeah. And uh, who else did they get? The, the lighting has gotten much better. Yeah, right? We were, what were we using? We were using the light and uh, the GM probably we were uh, using the light from the laptop screen at that point wow look look I don't remember yesterday I don't mean yeah you don't remember yesterday I don't remember when you were coming so I just know we were talking about the car ride home from work today we were talking a little bit and we didn't get too much into it because I wanted to say and every yo do you remember uh, you were mentioning when we started the show we made it a huge point something on the shoulder something to uh yeah right just, just the one play. solo jersey hanging up. Artificial goes nice jersey background. Right just <laughs> one <laughs> shirt in the back. <laughs> we, <laughs> we're caught. <laughs> we just we had them all in the closet. We just didn't figure out. Shirt off. <laughs> he goes, looks like it was pretty empty. Yeah. So you're like, a shirt. Now look at it. This is yeah. Now look at the background. Now we got the giant stadium. We got Mickey Mantle. We got a baseball bat. Mario's wet. He's yo. He's holding a football. I told him I got a ton more plaques of Thurman Munson, Joe DiMaggio. Um, if I when you mentioned that, this is the first day. thing that popped into my head. So they could see it on the yeah. camera. Now, to me, this is great. You're standing at the plate, hmm. taking pitches, right? Yeah. We were talking about that. That's right. Right there. Why didn't he see it? How did he not see it? 
These are the same the guys that they can see. Oh, with the baseball bat. Yeah. Yeah. That was our first episode. Yeah. I had to deal with the Astros cheating they bastards. They can see out from the oh mound, God. the pitcher's mound, which is 60 feet away from home plate. They almost went to the World Series. So 60 feet away from home plate. And I've watched games where the umpire has noticed pine tar on a pitcher's <laughs> yeah. rim of his hat or on his <laughs> pants. <laughs> How do you notice? I love how in the background. Right you see how I have the border shot. Five yeah. feet away from me. Like, five, six, I'm like, you know, what's the you? closest you thing to sports I can get? Shoulder, oh, the, the mountains. Cameras <laughs> notice this. Two feet, two feet away. Yet the cameras can spot it on his shoulders. Like, what the? Bases. Then again, I didn't know how to what do a lot of things at this point. I was just like, I know how to. Rookies. Umpires weren't looking for this. We're getting better. They didn't know about it until this. We're like, we're still like, we're like a higher tier rookie now. Right. We're still, on, we're not amateurs yeah. yet, you know. We're still you in that notice, rookie, like I said, you know. You but now, 60 feet away. Uh, now we're swinging for the fences instead it's of totally trying to bunt the ball. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? That's 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 pro. Whatever. And that's the camera. Now, this was a funny that. thing too, pops. So is I'm looking. You have this not, not cut just, on your you forehead, one umpire yeah. and this became game. like a thing where, You're like, literally, none of these guys. Every show we did, yet, almost you know, every show, it was like the the mo. Vaseline or, or something pops had to find a way to cut his face up somehow before we went on camera. They immediately approached the mound. You know how we look. You're yeah, good today. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's something that you I... You want me to give you a, like... No. You know what we can mimic? Yeah. No? Okay, and okay. He's got pine tar on his neck. Imagine oh, finding out your neck. future self insults to the point of your feelings hurt. <laughs> Dude, I'm from, me and myself probably yes. laugh at each other for quite some time. But you we got know, some cool cats in the chat. Yeah. But not this one. This on his neck. Got blood drops all over. Yeah, you got Obviously... Things on the this guy's shoulder. Swift goes. Yeah, yeah Pops Cam was getting blood droplets all over the house. Like That's not true. He's just, he's just, yeah. like, you know, he looked like he so just like. You know, over. I was in a fight we're with George Foreman. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's yeah. out there. He's no, I got that. Guys, I got back in my head. You might have been cheating in baseball. Yeah. You know, my question you, is though. You, you, actually, I think you banged your head here. Yes, right. On the corner, we have a shelf right here. They lost all four games at home. And he was he was grabbing a beer. Bam. They beat Bam. The Yankees I'm like, in 17, we're going live in like 30 minutes. You're bleeding out of your face. The in the, you know, mm -hmm. the playoff series here. Yeah. At, at, you know, at the U.S. Well, we don't have makeup artists around here. You know, no. And here's the thing. Come with my head. Games the Nationals. Do you yeah. think? We don't have, like, you know, uh, no, uh, like a professional show. Makeup, World Series, they stop make up, you know, blah, blah, blah. Would you let them do that to you if you were in that? Yeah. They would not let them do that. You have to. You have no choice. Why? When you go on television? Red Sox. Automatic. Okay. They, this is still going on. Automatic. Oh, yeah. This They're is not keep, over. Uh, this keep is, it in oh my what I heard. So you have to. They may be all that little, little players little down the road. I don't know, but probably not you know, because... I don't think I'd like that at all. Strong, you know, no, baseball you, like I said, I don't think you have a choice. Yeah. Papa yeah, K they needed they a haircut. You know what's great? Yeah, look, Pops, look at what your hair looks like I there. Think it's just, yeah. Yeah. Well, well it don't forget, up, though, we were a month away from COVID. The radio today <laughs> but we, yeah, but we could, you could still get haircuts then. At that time, but yeah. Don't, yeah. That, what, no, the this, night that we filmed that show, Chad, the night we did this, the next day he went out and he goes, I did. I'm getting it. He goes out, he comes back, he's all dapper, you know. And then I didn't get a haircut for six months because they were close. tolerance. Yeah. You too. Oh my God, my hair was out of control. Like hippie. Yeah. From the 60s. Oh my God. Yeah, it was crazy. I like the job. But use it. Hold on a second. Is there, is there, is there other, hold on. Let's just see really quick. Library. Hey Google, what's the Ranger score? Good job. This is their reputation. Their reputation the reputation sucks right now. The Lord only really knows who's going to hire them. No. Hey Google. Well, that's good. That's good. What's right the there. New York Rangers and the Islanders score? I look like Walmart's great value Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> hey yo. Everybody, that. Hey Google, what's the Bruins devil score? Currently, the Bruins are tied with the Devils 2-2 two two in the third period. Rangers down 4-0. Game's over. So that Shut right up. there, that was a, you know. Why did I wear this? I don't know. You're over there. You're freaking out about it. Dad, it's week one. Relax. The Rangers are going to be fine. Yeah. Mm. They can't score. Yeah. 
We're over here reminiscing, Pops, and you're over I here know, bitching I about... I, I just wanted to know what the score was. I am... I know, and then, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then it puts you in a bad mood, and I'm now he's break. over there. All right, we'll go to break. Yeah, that's right. Wow, we went a little bit further. We're going to take a quick break. And then we want to do the picks. And we're going to do Pops picks next. Uh, we have a gentleman's bet on this, and uh, yep, it's yep. gonna be it's gonna be good. And I get to pick first this time because I won each. last week. <laughs> no, oh my God, I don't we'll know what kind of beer. We're betting the case of stuff. Case of case of brewskis. But uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> we'll see you in a few now. Yo, Artificial, I told you I was going to get that set up eventually. And I appreciate you being patient with me, man. Uh, I still don't know all the working parts of it, but I have a general idea. So, we got it. We got we, we got the ball rolling. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, J.D., the fridge is already stocked. How you doing, buddy? <laughs>
All right, we are back. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Miss you, I'm here now. I hear you have a new addition to the fam. Wait, what? A new addition? To what? Oh, yeah, no, so, oh, the snake. Yeah. So, JD. The funny thing is, is Dizzy has been in the background this whole time, and Tuesday night, I told you, too, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday night to show. Did you come out? I took him out at the end of, uh, of the live stream. Uh, I was like, you know, he, you know, he's, he's been sitting back here during the streams the whole time. He's, he's got no, no camera time, and it was, uh, it was time. His name's Dizzy. He's a ball python. He's over three feet long. I won't take him out though tonight, right now, because you know, I don't think Papa K wants Dizzy out of the tank. No. <laughs> well, he's he's new to the stream in a sense, Shady. Because uh, he's always been in the background. I never took him out and showed, like, you know, showed him to the camera. Mm. So. All right. Let's go. All right. So now, we, now we're doing some Pops picks, everybody. And uh, as you can see, things are in my way. There we go. We got it. 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 There we go. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. According to our last week's picks, I won. Yep. <laughs> so now we're going to get in here. What do we got? <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all good, artificial. artificial it's still up there, like I said. I was doing bad in the beginning, and then just like, you know, it was, just, it was fun, though. Let me just see what the spreads would have been. We don't go by the spreads. I know we don't go by the spreads, but yeah. Okay. Just to see, see like how close we were. Thirty-eight twenty-nine, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Thirty-eight twenty-eight. Thirty-eight twenty-eight. Uh they didn't cover. So every dog has his day, huh, Pops? Seattle. Favorite. Didn't cover. In the, in this in this moment, the Pops cat covered. the cat came through. Titans didn't cover. Well, it's covered. Yeah, wow. Three and three. Okay. You just missed it too, JD. We were uh, we're celebrating the, the, the this is the anniversary. Year, this is the year anniversary. We started the show back on YouTube. Yeah, a year, a year ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we just we just reminisced and watched uh, the first episode for a little bit together. <laughs> and. Uh, it's still on stream. You can go back. I think you can go. Can you go back while, while, while we're live? I don't know. I don't know. Either. I don't know if that's the thing. I know one thing I won't be watching tonight is the Ranger replay. <laughs> I'm the fans will. Yeah, hey, Devils, in Devils will tie two too. The Bruins. Sixty days. Two months, two months to you. Oh, the connects were last night. You're talking, you're talking two months till uh, till you move uh, further south, right, JD? Where's he now? Well, he's further north in Canada. Oh, he's in Canada. Yeah, JD's, wow. JD, JD's. Is he a hot Yes, he's. You know he's a hot. Fan. He forgets. I he always forget. forgets. I forget. Sixty days is your stream history. Oh, oh. So we started we started the show on YouTube in January. And we, we made the switch to yeah. Twitch beginning right around the beginning of football season. I would say so. Yeah, beginning four, of football at least four season. Months. Yeah. Change. Yeah. You know, we were we were having we, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, chat. We were we were having fun on YouTube. It was a good time. It was just to move on. It, it was it was time to try something new, you know. Yeah. And all the fun I was having on Twitch 
talking to Pop, Papa K over here about it, and he's like, well, you know, I suggested we, we, it to you. Yeah, he said, why don't we, why don't we move to Twitch? Why don't we move the show to Twitch and get off YouTube? And I was like, you know, that's not a bad idea because we could still export the videos to YouTube if we wanted to. Right, right. You know what though? I think like you know everything happens the way it's supposed to happen because we were able to kind of, you know, get an idea of what we wanted to do on this show, right? And just kind of get like a you know get dip our feet in the water, get you know get our feet wet. So this way, when we came to Twitch, you know, it, I hear you. yeah, yeah, okay. a little better, a little better. All right, write them down. I'm gonna write a bunch of stuff down. Mm -hmm. I gotta erase stuff first. Don't rush me. <laughs> yeah. Takes forever. I'm impatient, folks. It's not him. It's me. Can you get my marker? <laughs> I dropped the shit. Oh, this guy, he's always rushing me. He's always... Oh, no. So come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I, I am the exact opposite. All right, here we go. Yeah. I was in debt, but do you have a... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yo, Anno, what's happening, man? I have no idea. <laughs> I know. How's everything going, buddy? Yeah, you got, you got, uh, you, you, everything, everything going good with the streaming again, dude. You back, back on it. All right. So, pops, mm -hmm. you're gonna go over to games. I'm gonna okay. open this. Okay. Love that sound. Yeah. You got, <laughs> uh, you got the Bucks and the Saints. All right, we got. We have how many games? How many? We're four. putting four four games. Four games. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so the ne the next week it'll be two. I already f fudged it up. Okay. Don't judge me, Dad. No. Nah, you Don't. said it. I didn't say nothing. I didn't even know what the hell you did wrong. Bucks. Saints. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a free electric pressure washer out of the dump. <laughs> Uh, taking a break for school. Oh, good stuff, man. Good stuff. I don't like how this S looks. All right, we got Buck Saints. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, Bills Ravens. Bills Ravens. Next. KC Cleveland. KC Browns. And last. Packers L.A. Green Bay, L.A. All right, let me get the same over here, because I have to pick first, because I won. I won last week. I keep talking so much shit right now, I'm probably going to lose every game this week. <laughs> I need to just shut up. You never know. I'm hoping you pick exactly opposite what I would pick. <laughs> you know what's weird? I'm mm -hmm. hoping the same thing too. Well, so you this pick, way you'll I, pick it first. This way I put it way out of the lead for you. That's what I mean. I may have to go against myself just to see if I can get a heavy in next week. Yeah. Next week, yeah. I'm five and one pops is currently four and two. Mm hmm At least we got to get at least a B this semester. Most importantly, today's another day that I'm ready to talk about some Formula One. Uh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jeez, you got this, though. Yeah. You got this, Arno. I like your style, though. Taking some time off to get focused, man. Wise beyond your years, brother. <laughs> All right. So I get to pick first, because I won last week. And so we started with the Bucks and the Saints. This game, this game, I'm telling you right now, uh, this is where my gut's tell me to go. 
I'm, I'm going to pick the Bucks. I'm picking the Bucks because I think, honestly, the Saints defense, as highly as they're rated right now, I think the Bucks are going to have a very difficult time. Yo, J.D.'s saying go Saints. Well, I'm thinking right now, J.D., tell me if you agree with me on this thought process here. I'm picking the Bucks because I think that the Saints are not going to be able to stop Mike Evans and Antonio Brown. I really don't think that their pass rush is good enough to put that pressure on Brady to, to force him to make mistakes. So my thought is, is that you know you give Brady enough time in the pocket, you give him three or four seconds, this guy's gonna he's gonna tear you apart. Little piece piece by piece. You gotta remember the early spread was four and a half Saints. Now it's down to three. It That's might simply make amazing. Dude, if I could ever own a Ferrari, that would be insane. Pops, what's your dream car? Me? Yeah. Uh, always a Cadillac. Always. Cadillac? Always. I had three of them. Dodge Viper, Anno. I'm going Dodge Viper. Older <coughs> ones, though. Older ones. Always had a Caddy. I had three of them. Yo, only JD's got a GT40 going there. Four GT40. What about the rest of the chat? What do you guys feel? Favorite cars? Come on, Grim. I know you're posting cars all the time, buddy. What do you got? Hey, I had a 68 Le Mans. That was a phenomenal car. GTO is the big car of my day, and Mustang later. I'm going to say 31-24. Wow, you're going high. Yeah, I kind of, uh, you know, I see that, yeah. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling okay. that, chat. I'm feeling right, that. Good. Keep going. Now we got the Bills-Ravens game. This one, this game is going to be harder to deal with right now. Mm-hmm. You don't know what Lamar's mm-hmm. going to do, or you don't know what... The Bills played bad last week. And what? 280. Oh, artificial, you don't know? That's all right, man. What? He doesn't know what uh, what his dream car would be. Wow. That's all right. Is he young? Can't yeah, be younger. Okay. Or an old Nissan Skyline. Wow. My favorite American Shelby Mustang domestic Nissan R32 Skyline. Tell him to look up Dodge. No, look at this. Look at the Skyline's coming back to back. Import, not domestic. Yes, okay. still famous. Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, uh, the Mustang. Uh, I liked the Mustang when I was younger, and then I kind of grew out of that. Now it's famous. You know, I uh, wanted, I wanted. Uh, we yo Frosty, what's happening, man? R thirty two, R thirty three, R thirty four. We know what Frosty likes. Mustangs have a little spot in my I heart. Like that name, Frosty. Well, his name is uh, Frosty the Pimp. The what? <laughs> his whole name is Frosty the Pimp. Okay. <laughs> I just I call him Frosty for short. Okay. All right. It's a good name. What hip? What is this? Mount. Oh. I'm a joy. <laughs> All right, chat. You know what, chat? I love a little help on this one. What are we thinking about the Bills and the Ravens? Who are we picking here? Two and a half spread. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans. Yo, J.D. had a nine. I had a 68. You had a 68 Pontiac Le Mans? Yeah. Oh, shit. Black roof, yellow, black bucket seats. Beautiful car. Fast. Eight-cylinder. There, there, there Arno goes with his, with his, with his crazy talk. <laughs> cool. All right, we're thinking Bills, Ravens. Here's my thoughts here, chat. I think the Ravens, you know, they they beat the Titans because they knew they could contain, like, you know, they, they were confident yeah. that they could contain Derrick Henry. Yeah. Right? But, see, now we're looking at a Bills team that has more weapons I mean, this guy, Josh Allen, he'll, he'll put the ball in seven different receivers' hands. Yeah. You know, that's going to be a lot harder to deal with for the yeah. Ravens. So I'm really feeling the Bills in this one. Okay. Uh, so J.D. says his was uh, his car, um, the uh, the Pontiac, mm-hmm. was a burgundy with cream interior, 350 engine. Yeah. I think mine was bigger. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so you're going with the... I'm the going bills. with the Bills. I'm going with the Bills. I feel... 
that the you know the Ravens defense this time they you know they're not going to be able to contain Josh Allen and all the weapons he has. I'm thinking this this is going to be I feel like this is going to be a little bit closer because the Bills I think it's a field goal game. The Bills defense, I agree with you on that. I feel like the Bills defense also has to worry about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. And if they can't stop him, I mean this guy puts out more yards than some running backs. 138 yards last week. All right, you got to go, Ano. All right, man. Yo, thanks for stopping by, bro. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, buddy. 138 yards rushing. If the Bills can stop him, they'll win the game. If they can't, they're going to lose. Oh, J.D.'s throwing out there. Uh, he was going to rebuild the engine with his dad, but those plans fell through. Just like the grass and the floorboards. Oh, shit. You know, it was another great car, J.D.? The Chevelle. Chevy no. made it, and Chevette later. Well, before that. Okay, go ahead. Next pick. We're going 28-21 for the Bills game. You're picking the Bills? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Now we got Kansas City. All right, let me... Let me Ten and a half favorites. Let's just do like a little line here. Against yeah, Cleveland. Kansas City against the Browns. Chevrolet 396, beautiful. Yeah. Right, right. I have my buddy. I, I even like the old hard body cars. Like, mm. my best friend had a uh, an 86, 87 T-top Camaro. That's another great car. Fast. Oh, yeah. He had, he had the racing yeah. chip in it. And, and, yeah, I taught him how to drive clutch. Yeah, you, went, you know. Ran into the wall. I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell. Let me tell the story. <laughs> I taught him how to drive clutch on my Volkswagen GTI. And he, he blew out. He basically destroyed my my you know my. He he ruined my clutch. And then he goes, you know what? I feel bad. Uh, this was like you know a couple a couple months down the line. He's like, I'm gonna sell you because I know you really like the car. I'm gonna sell you. The 86 Camaro for like five, six hundred bucks. How's that sound? And I was like, that's, yeah, yeah, I'll buy it. Let's go. And he goes, so that weekend that we were going to, we were going to, you know, make the exchange, he, he fucking totaled the car. <laughs> and he calls me up and he's like, hey, Wiz, <laughs> hey, remember, remember the Camaro? Yeah, like it's past tense. And I was like, why? Why are you saying pest? Why did you say remember the Camaro? And he goes, because uh, I hit the same wall three times. That shit's total. I feel like James Bond, though. I, crawl, I had to crawl out the window. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm fine, though. That's good. I was like, well, thank God you're fine. But yeah, rip Camaro. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, okay. Kansas City Browns. This game right here. I have to go Kansas City on this because I feel that Kansas City is not going to make the mistakes that the Steelers made. Pittsburgh made, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm nothing. You know, I want the Browns to win, but I don't see it. Don't so know. we're going to go Kansas City here, chat, and we're going to go. I mean, I'm going to say, I mean, Baker Mayfield. These guys, they, they can score, it's but I'm still, high. I'm still going to say, I'm looking at like a. Man, this game's making me like, like shit. It's not making me shit. It's just making me like, ah, shit, you know? That got awkward real quick, didn't it, everybody? Sure. <laughs> I'm over here. Where's the toilet paper? <laughs> like, did he just say shit? All right, seriously, on a serious note here. Shit in my pants. Remember that guy? Whoa, yeah, whoa. Well, well, maybe. <laughs> well, who? The uh, comedian. Swartzen. Nick Swartzen? Yeah, remember that line? Is that shit? And I don't know which one. I made it for you. <laughs> I, I don't know which one to uh, clean up first. <laughs> See, we got to watch that again. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say here, we're going to go <laughs> 24-17 Kansas City. Wow. Now we have Green Bay and the LA, Rams. And LA. I 
I'm waiting for my dad to give up on his 1969 Ford uh, Fairlane 500. Oh my god, my buddy had one of those. 351 Windsor. I want to restore it. So super fast. Yeah. Yeah, my friend got. I don't think I've ever seen that car. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, I got. I don't have to. We went upstate that that time. uh, He was uh, a victim of 9/11. Fireman. God rest his soul. And he drove that freaking car like 90 to 100 miles an hour on the street. I said, Freddie, we're going to get killed if you don't slow down. <laughs> yeah, it was like a race car driver. Anyway. It looks kind of like the Torino. Oh, okay. I can picture it now. Grand Torino. Remember Grand we... Torino. Yeah, with freaking, I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Clint. Clint Eastwood? Mm-hmm. Great movie. Yeah, that was a car. I'm going Green Bay on this one. I'm feeling Green Bay on this one because Aaron Rodgers, he's he's not done proving anything right now. Yeah. If anything, he's he's even hungrier than ever. He's going for it. Kick ass movie, yeah, without a doubt, Grim. Mm. What Grand Torino? Yeah, yeah, it was a good movie. That had a lot of meaning behind it, you know. It was about oh, hold uh, on a prejudice. Second. Hold on a second. Before before, you know, I'm gonna finish this pick and then I gotta do something really quick. So we're going to go Green Bay. I think Green Bay is going to beat the crap out of the Rams. It's just a gut feeling I have. It's, really? it's, it's I really think that Green Bay is coming in and Aaron Rodgers is going to have one of those lights out, 400 yards passing kind of days. You know, he's going to hit Do- Devontae Adams right for three touchdowns. Just let you know, what it's going to be terrible weather. They were already saying. Yeah, you know what, though? That didn't seem to matter in Lambeau. No, no. He's when it was snowing. 40 points. He 45. scores, four, yeah, he puts up 45. Again, like I said, three touchdown passes. Come on. Okay. Why do I know what that is? <laughs> like Grand Torino, or are, we, are you still in the cars? Unofficial. Like, no in the cars or no in the movie? Green Bay. We're going to say Green Bay is coming in. They're coming in hot. We're getting 41? 41 sound good to you? Your pick, not mine. I'm putting 41, 28. Those are Mr. Whiskers picks. Now, really quick though. Realize we got you know just, just a lot of awesome people in chat right now, and there are there's, there's there's some awesome people that don't have the right badges right now. It's just it's, what's 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 going on. It's my fault. Hey, Google, what was the final Rangers Island score? The Rangers lost 4 to 0 today against the Islanders. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, Google, what's the score of the Boston Bruins Devils game? The Bruins won 3 to 2 today against the Devils in a shootout. Damn. There we go. There we go. All right, that's better. That's better. Hold on. Rip. God damn. Bruins. Yeah, hockey's back, everybody. Hockey is back. Yeah, oh, got, my God. We got shut up. What up? All right, Dad. I've made my picks. I know. Are they the same as yours? Damn close. Who do you think it is? Yeah? I have to go a little against you because otherwise I can't win. You need, yeah, you, you need to at least tie it. You got to at least pick one different. And hope that it's the right one. All right, hold on. Da 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 da. All right, Bobby Cage, your turn to make your picks. Now you got to do one differently. Which one's it gonna be? You got the Bucks and the Saints, the Bills, Ravens, Casey, Browns. Green Bay, L.A. But one of these has got to be different if you at least want to die me. Which one do you think is going to be different, Papa Gay? Okay. What the hell is that? That's not a microphone. That's a, that's a marker. All right. Yeah, that's the microphone. I'm going to go... Can't pretend was your imagination. I have no, idea, no uh, uh, choice, but i got to go with the Saints if I want to get even. And I'm going to go really close game. All right, Saints. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Mm. He wants to get even. I'll say 31-28, Saints. 31. Even though I like the Bucks. 
28. Hey, I got to pick first. I know, I know. Okay. All right. I got to go with Joe and KC. I got to figure they're going to win. I got to figure they're going to... They got to beat them up bad. I'll say... What'd you pick? 24. Oh, uh, light. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say 31 10. All right. Sorry, Melissa. I got to go with the Ravens if I want to get even. Yeah, but you're already going to get even. This will put you in the lead if you get both these right. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, here's the thing. I'm 5 and 1, you're 4 and 2. Right. So you differed with me on the Bucks and Saints game. So if, so we, if you win this one and I lose, we get tied. You tie. Okay. If you go different on both, I go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. All right. All right. Uh Let's go to Green Bay game. I got to go with Green Bay. All right, I Green Bay. I don't see Aaron uh, Rodgers losing to uh, this guy that's hurt. All I'm right. going to say, what'd you say, 41? I'll say 35-21, um, Green Bay. That's a really weird-looking five I just did. That's all right. 35-21. All right. And so, now, this game, that game. That's your game right there. Now this game right here. See, I want you, Dad. I'm gonna, you know, listen. I don't want to. I'm not a. Head I, 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 I'm a good son. I promise. I, I promise, Dad. I'm a good son here. But just remember something. Now I'm gonna play mind games with you. Because now, the bet's on the table. The bet's been made. Gentlemen's handshakes have already gone down. Right. You could go different here. Right. But just remember, if they're both wrong. I'm up three on you. Three. How do you figure that? Because I already won the game week one, right? Right. So if you lose both these games, and right. I have both these games, that's okay. three more wins I have on you. And if I win those games... Then you have one on me. I go heavy. Okay. All right. Even though I want the Bills to win, I don't think they're going to win. I think the Ravens are going to take this game really close. I'll say 28-27. I think the... Uh, they, I don't think they can stop Lamar. All right, chat. There we go. Now, if the Bills win, the I will not be upset. Yeah. Neither will I, because I think... So if I win those two and you lose those two, I go ahead by one. If you win those two and I lose those two, yeah. Go ahead by one. Now what if these other teams lose? Does it matter? Doesn't matter because we, we both the same team. Exactly. These are the ones that you're focused on now. So I know you're gonna be watching the Buck Saints and the Bills Ravens hard. Well, now we, I know we can watch that game together Sunday night. I know JD was sitting in that JD, do you wanna put a lock on the Saints game? For Bobby K, are we putting a JD lock on this? No, just let him pick who he thinks. Now he said go Saints. Oh. Now okay. we differed here, so the lock would go on your side. Okay. I don't know. If the Saints can pressure, you know, Tom Brady, they'll win the game. But that's a, uh, you know. That's I was just being a shit to Shermer. What do you say? He goes, he goes, I don't know. I was just being a shit to stare. I don't know shit. <laughs> All right, so no locks on the board. Unless anybody else, Grim, Artificial, Swift, Nikki. You feel any of these games are a lock? We put a lock up there? Come we... on, Grim. You're a football fan. I Even think though, now, and my Giants suck. Well, 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 they consider what's going on here, Pop. So I, I want you to explain yeah, right. these two games that you picked that differ from mine and give me give me some more details on why you picked it. Because I know you picked them not just to be different than me, but you picked the Saints being the Bucks, 31 to 28. Tell me what you think is going to happen in this game that could make such a thing happen. You feeling that, what? The only uh, if the Saints can rush Brady. If they rush him, he's not the same quarterback. So you, you're really feeling, though, and watching watching the New Orleans Saints, do you feel that their defense they have, they is They have a good defense. Pretty good this year. Okay. 
just from our conversation, I do feel good about the Saints, though. What's the next one you want to ask me about? Grim feels confident about the Saints as well. I don't have an idea on the score, though. That's all right, though. We can put we'll put a lock up there, though. I yeah, just two hope guys Drew, Drew Brees is healthier than he was. You know, the uh, last few uh, games, uh, his passes were not on. Now, he's got great receivers, too. We locking it in, chat? Yeah, they're doing Saints. You know, we got Grim and JD a feeling feeling confident Saints. that you made the right pick. I would say. I wouldn't mind. I'd say either. twenty something, and yo, and Frosty says lock it. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, be surprised because uh, if Tom Brady's on the money and they don't rush him, they'll kill him. But if they rush him, he's in trouble. What's the other game you said that I disagreed with? It's locked. Yo, by the way, Frosty, how did uh, how did the wiring come out for your uh? So Frosty was like while I was streaming Tuesday, yep. he was hanging out in chat, and yep. he was uh, he was doing his home entertainment system. He was doing all the wiring, okay, setting up the home entertainment system. All right. Uh, ho- how did everything go, buddy? Hopefully everything went well. I mean, I noticed you didn't say anything right off the bat, so I'm kind of feeling that no news is good news, you know, kind of deal. What did you say? I was I was puzzling. Oh, so Swift, we were determining whether or not we were putting any locks on the board. Now, looking at the board, do you feel anything is a lock? Chat right now, Frosty's saying, Grimm's feeling, JD's feeling, that they're feeling confident in the Saints right now. It sounds badass. Yo, that's what I'm talking about, Frosty. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wire in your own home entertainment system. Okay, you think the Ravens winning is a lock, Swift? I don't think it's a lock, but I have to pick them because I have to go ahead of you. When, oh, um, Grim wants to know when the Saints game is. You want to tell them the day and time real quick while I do this? I think the Saints are Sunday night at 640. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I heard. Yeah, Dad, you got two locks on your side right now. I, no, no, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's, hey. nobody, nobody's feeling the cool cat right now, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know, you know, I guess. <laughs> you feel my my picks? This is, this is Obviously good. not. <laughs> I think it's uh, uh, it's the Sunday night game. Sunday night game. They said they want to see two greatest quarterbacks that might be around. Hold on a second. And that's Hold on Breeze a second. and uh, obviously Brady. Hey Google, when do the New Orleans Saints play? The Saints will play the Buccaneers on Sunday at six forty p.m. All right, Sunday at six forty. There you yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. It's in a dome, so it doesn't mean anything about weather. Better hope go up three. What? All right, so you know, you know, everybody, everybody seems to be rooting for you, pops. They're not rooting for me. They're rooting for the picks I made. I know, but the only reason I made those picks. But the picks, you know, you're you're going against me. They're rooting for you to take this week. I actually would have picked what you picked. I like the Bucks initially. Initially. But the spread, yeah, no kept, doubt, Grim, no doubt, the man. Spread kept going down. Ah! <laughs> Every time, why is the spread going down? From four and a half to three and a half to three, and now potentially two and a half. So yeah. it's a field goal game. All right, though. So that everybody gets a close look. You can see this. The board, it's in ink now. Everybody, it's not changing. This is for this weekend's picks. Who does Jay Swift like? Jay Swift's putting a lock on the Ravens game. She says you got the right pick there. And I don't even like the Ravens. I like Buffalo. I like Josh Allen. But I don't know if he's ready yet. You, know, you got you to gotta win this week if you want to pick I first. I don't know if they can stop. It's not about Josh Allen. Dude, you know what's funny? Pops? They stop him. Okay, so we have these games going on. Nobody said these two are locks. I think these two are locks. <laughs> Hey, listen, 
my opinion. Chat has spoken. We put the locks where chat says to put the locks. Do you think? Lock it down. Do you think, uh, what's his now. name? Now. The clean defense can stop uh, Patrick Mahomes? Me neither, but I feel like it's going to happen. If they can, that'd be amazing. Yo, Jay Swift's agreeing with you. She feels. Mm -hmm. no, that feels. I'm she, leery. She, she, she's leery about the Bills game. Me but too. She feels that they didn't show me happen. nothing last week, <laughs> even though they won. They didn't show me nothing. Hmm. They got lucky in that game. Bad decisions by uh, the Colts. Made poor yeah, this decisions. guy, like I said, this guy can run like a demon. If you can't stop him, you're going to lose the game. I didn't even know where that one went. Yeah, whatever. You found it. Now, the only guys I'm kind of sure about is Patrick Mahomes and uh, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Yeah. These two games could be up in the air because you got two good quarterbacks, both young. You know, not Brady and not this guy, but this well, these two. See, this is what uh, that, that's what I fear though. It's like I said, to me the Saints defense isn't gonna it's not gonna put the pressure on needed when you got the talent of Mike Evans and Antonio Brown yeah. keying up side by side. Having those weapons against a, a, a defense, a Saints. Saints have always been an offensively minded team. Another thing we haven't even discussed. Turnover game. Returns the ball over more. With I think the turnovers are going to happen more. Yeah. You see what happened to Pittsburgh. I think it's Nobody gonna figured that. I think it's going to be in the Bills game. The Bills-Ravens. I feel mm -hmm. like there's going to be multiple turnovers. Very cold. They said in Buffalo already. Yeah. You know, Buffalo, probably going to be snow in there, like we may. Mm -hmm. So, you don't know. But, these you, got, you got two places going to be cold. Green Bay and uh, the Bills. The Bills. Kansas City definitely could be cold. And uh, the Bucks and Saints, it don't matter. It's a dome. They're inside, so. You heard, no it, you heard it from Bob K. There's no weather issues oh. there. All right, so five shoot. We're gonna go on our on our last break, yep. and then we're gonna get into some stuff. Oh sh! We got H. H is in here now. Saints destroyed Bucks once already. Yo, they H, did. how they you showed, doing, buddy? They showed it yesterday. They did. They beat the crap out of him. Oh, but, so you know what though? So you're on the side of chat. You're you're with chat as well, H. We we got the lock for pops. Now I just want to point this out again. I just want to make this very clear. Don't forget. If I win these two games, I'm ahead of you three games. It's going to be really hard for you to come back. So let's go. I don't know how I can let's come go. back. This cast. Because there's only two games Got this week. Nine lives. Because if you go nine three, I have lives. to win the next three. Yeah, you literally, you, really, you literally have to just, you have Down to go. Okay. All the way. He could go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. You think Pops got this one? Drew Brees is the man. All right, you got another. Yo, H is on your side, too. Wow. H is on... All right, all right. Uh, I might, I might bet right. this game. No, I don't bet. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't gamble. I see how this. I see how this. I had money years ago. I used to win a lot of money on these uh, playoff games, especially Super Bowl. You know, we, 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 uh, we didn't have to watch these games. It's too bad I don't have that whole Amazon Prime thing, you know, like where we could, like, stream the games. That'd be cool. Well, you have the game, so. I do have the game, but I mean, like, like we could sit here and we could watch it. Let's see what happens chat. in the first three, because, like I said, the Bucks and uh, Saints are do that? 640. I got to figure out how to do that. It's the last game Sunday night, so maybe, uh, and you're off Monday. Well, you're off Monday anyway, but you're going to get paid for it. Because I'm out with the king. Yeah. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I don't go out Saturday night and you don't, don't get too crazy on Saturday night, <laughs> I, I like will, uh, <laughs> will come. Uh, by the way, even, will, even, if you, even if you have a few Saturday night, the game's 640. Well, that, 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 honestly, yeah, I don't need to drink to watch football. I do. You do, that's fine. Yeah. That's that's okay with me, that's man. That's what they live for. <laughs> like, we could still watch the game together. I'll just be sitting there, like, you know, like nursing some weekend. Advil and shit, just like... Well, that's what you did this weekend. Our dad! I'm shocked the Rangers got shut up. Oh, dad, it's week one in hockey. We're going to get into some hockey talk, by the way, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, go. All right, so we're going to go on a quick break. 
Don't go anywhere. We'll yeah. be back in a few now. Uh, to answer your artificial, I don't think there's going to be a Saturday stream. Um, if, if there was a way that I could stream the football games legally, then, yeah, that, 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 that could have been a thing. But that's still, that's, there's so much I still need to learn. But if anything changes, I will, uh, I will obviously put it on Twitter. I know you don't have Twitter, but you could always check back on the channel regularly because I would put it in um, the schedule. In the about section or in the tabs. You know what I mean. Haha. <laughs>
All right, all right. We're back, everybody. We're back for the for the for the the end segment the of finale. the finale. Sh- the, the, the end segment of the show. The finale, though. Oh my God! Does anybody want to know? Uh, anybody interested in the Met fans? What they got with Lindor? Well, I'm interested. They got <laughs> they got one of the top players in the league, and Carrasco. They gave up both their shortstops, which I understand. And Lindor's a shortstop, and he's way better than those two. What's the next move? The biggest uh, question is, who goes for a pitcher now? Tanaka. This says, according to reports, is going back to Japan. Nobody wants to. Sign. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, and then there's Corey Kluber. Who just got hurt last year? Cy Young Award winner a couple of years ago. No, you could come in now more if you want. He'd be a perfect fit for the Yankees as a starter. Yeah, because that'd, be, that'd be nice. That'd you be have nice. Gary Cole. Right now, who's the second starter? Montgomery. But here's the thing, right now, yeah. and I know, I know you you're bringing up baseball, but here's the thing, right now is, is hockey. Mm. Hockey is in swing. Yeah, it's opened up this week. Yep. And yes, from they, what I understand, right, 56 games this season, Pops. Yep. They're playing only their own division. All their eight own games. division, eight games. Yeah. They're, they're going to see each other. This is like the 60s when it was a small league. Yeah. It was only 12 teams. They faced each other, you know, forever. How do you guys feel about this? I know, I know, uh, J.D., I know you're a big hockey fan. The issue with this 56 is... 56 games. Yeah. Yeah. You have you're gonna play the same team, so you're gonna know each other really well. Well, you only face each other four times. Hockey be looking like a death zone. No, <laughs> artificial. Let me tell you, and and that's the thing is hockey. You know, it's such a it's so, you have to be so tough to play it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, like I remember again. I know I know I bring this up all the time, but I remember. The, the sports that I was into growing up, it was like the extreme, like, you know, s- skateboarding, snowboarding, you know, BMX, things like that. It's going to be a high-paced and furious rivalries will be made. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like that, J.D., and you know what? I think you nailed Especially that on the head. They're, they're playing each other four more times. Mm-hmm. They would normally play each other because the Rangers would only play the Islands four times, Devils, you know, Boston, and they would go to West Coast, but that's not going to happen. But hockey, and, and, and just even saying this story right now, hockey was the first sport you got me into. Yeah. New York Rangers. And I still have. I still have that beer cap. Yep. I can go get that, too. If you guys want to see, I still have. No, we the, believe you. The first, the first beer I had with Papa K. Yeah. Father, son, first beer we sat down, had the house to ourselves, right? Well, he throws on Rangers in 60. Comes up with two Budweisers and goes, you want a beer? <laughs> now, I'm like, what, are they, 18 or something at the time? I didn't think you were 18. And I'm like... It's a test. <laughs> Folks, I knew he was drinking before that, so... What? No. What? Maybe. Maybe. But then we sat down... And we had... Went to the gas station first. Yeah, we had a great time, though. We, we watched Rangers in 60 the first time. Yo, artificial, first time. Chat, first time I watched hockey, I'm sitting there. And I remember, it was with Colton Orr. Yeah. It was on the Rangers. This dude was huge. Yeah. He's like 6'4 without the skates. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I got it on, Pops. And, and then Colton Orr, you know, so he just drops his gloves and just... No, he didn't even drop his gloves. The other guy threw his gloves down like, yo, you want to go? And he just... Then he got thrown out of the game. And I was like, dad. He just... (laughs) He just punched that guy straight in the face. (laughs) Is that allowed? He wasn't going to go to hockey play. No. Not anymore. Dude, dads always know what you're up to. We don't mess around. Yeah, yeah. J- yeah jd has got the dad experience. Yeah, yeah. They all think we're stupid. 
No. No, yo, chat, I got a great story for you too, right? There was, we, 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 me and my friends are teenagers, we were like 17, mm. something like that. And, you know, my buddy, he had this van, right? And he took like the middle seats out, so it was just like opened up in there. And <laughs> so, you know, Papa K, he got into bed, I thought. And we're hanging out in front of the house, like in the driveway, you know, we're in the van. Jay? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, we got some beers and stuff. We're hanging out. We're, we're, we're playing cards and stuff. And then I remember, like, getting out of the van, right? And Jay got into the house before I did. And so the way Pop's house works is you go up the stairs from, the, you know, in the living room. Mm -hmm. And you can open the door. I didn't notice. Because I didn't, you know, he got, Jay got in before me. And he apparently went up the stairs. Pops was still awake. <laughs> and he's like, hey, Jay, how you doing? And Jay was sitting there like, okay. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, where's Matt? Okay. <laughs> you all right? Okay. My, my dad just looked at him and goes, Jay, go upstairs, go to bed. He goes, okay. And he went upstairs and went to bed. Yeah. Now, I'm coming back in a little bit later, and I, I fell up the stairs because, you know, you know, everybody falls down the stairs. That's just, it's so cliche. Mm -hmm. I like to fall up the stairs. Mm -hmm. It was, I tripped over my own foot. Door opens up. I get, hey. And then my dad's just staring at me with this, like, shit-eating grin on his face, just... How you doing, son? And I looked at him. Okay. <laughs> so the response I got it was okay. <laughs> he got like twelve okays in a row, and he goes, "How about you go to bed?" I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> and then the next day, what were you guys doing? We were playing cards. And we were having a couple cold yeah, ones, yeah, and yeah. you know, it was just. It was yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, no, I, I felt pretty stupid. I was like, I fell up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know? Ah. It's not impossible, but... Mm. Anyway. But anyways, yes, that, that first Rages game, though, that was like... And then after that, you got me hooked. Mm. They, and got then, a, they got a very young team. They got shut out tonight by an experienced Islander team. Who almost went to the finals last year. Or this past year. No, last year. I don't know. They got so many young players. I don't know if they can uh, groom this team to be a contender yet. I think they're, personally, I think they're about two years away. You think two years away? That was actually, it's, it's great, though, because I was actually going to ask, mm -hmm. like, what are your thoughts on the Rangers this season? What what kind of odds do you think that I they have? I would like to see them get in the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Last year they got in uh, because of the uh, COVID. But, you know, can they get in? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, know, JD says my dad never confronted me about my shenanigans. Mm. I had no choice. <laughs> you guys walked in chip based. You know what are you going to do? Oh, I'll just ignore this. Yeah, yeah, Hammond. But no. you did. You know, after that though, it was it was kind of it was definitely like a, an experience where yeah. he goes, "Listen, I appreciate you guys staying on property. Yeah, like you know, I know you know." Don't leave. You're teenagers. You're going to be teenagers. He goes, but don't ever, like, don't don't be stupid. Yeah. Don't be stupid. If you're going to do anything, do it responsibly. And that's like, you know, from there, it's a lot of, a lot of lessons learned. I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, get back to the hockey teams. Who's going to be Tampa Bay again? They are... Powers, and then they lost their top scorer, Nikita Kucherov, to injury. He's done for the year. Tampa Bay's going to be a powerhouse? Yeah, they won the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Who's going to be Tampa Bay? What if What if we see, what are the odds, Pops? What do you think mm -hmm. about this? Mm -hmm. The Bucks win the Super Bowl, Tampa Bay wins the Cup. No, Tampa Bay already did that. Yeah, but no, but I'm talking about same year status, right? Mm. Could be. Bucks win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Tampa Bay wins this year. 
don't know. How many times has that ever happened? Oh, man. I'm trying to figure out. Was there ever like a uh, Yankees Giants or Yankees Jets or Mets Jets or Mets Giants? In 1969. (laughs) Boo Tampa. JD, JD. 1969. I think, yeah. The Mets, the Mets won the World Series. The Knicks won the NBA championship. And the Jets won the Super Bowl. Wait, say that again? 1969. 69. Mets won the World Series. Knicks won the NBA championship. Okay. And the Jets won the Super Bowl. Three. It's a little triple threat right there. Three. Three P. Yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen again. Wow, that was that was 1969. Yeah, but yo, JD, I feel you saying boot Tampa, but like let, let, let's look at the, let's look at the facts right now. The possibilities are there, at least especially in football. Now hockey, yeah. this is going to be a very interesting season. Yeah, yeah, a very different season, like you said, going back to the 60s. You could see it happen this year. Mets made major moves; they could be in the playoffs. Yankees, always powerful, right? If they sign DJ back, hopefully, they could be there. And uh, the Nets, they're Brooklyn, they're New York. You never know. Yeah, but I just I don't see it happening in New York. I, I, I you know, I, 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 I said just... that happened once. Once, yeah. But can it happen again? It's not impossible. You know, Very J- rare. JD says it's time a Canadian team brings the cup home. Yeah, well, it's been a long time. How far back are we talking? Oh my God! Let's see, Canadian team. We got Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Vancouver. Wow, it's been a while. When was the last time, JD? Oof. That's a good question. That is a good question, right? It's Google. Well, I want to ask JD first. Yeah. He's saying Montreal 03. All right, let's... Oh, uh, okay. All right, now, JD's putting Montreal 2003 okay. yeah. on the board remember. right yeah. now. Yeah. Let's yeah. find out. Let's talk to Google. <laughs> hey, Google. When was the last time a Canadian NHL hockey team won the Stanley Cup? 1993. On the website globalnews.ca, they say, the last time a Canadian hockey team won a Stanley Cup was in 1993 when the Montreal Canadiens won against the Los Angeles Kings. 93, not two or three. 93, no, but JD, JD had it there. Montreal, he just had yeah, one number off there. And he is. Unless my eyesight's shit. No, no, that says 03. Yeah, no, 10 years difference. No, that was, yo, JD, that was close, brother. Yeah. And they haven't been there since. So, 93. Yeah, but you know what? The, the, the Rangers haven't won the Cup since, what, 94? 94, yeah. Yeah. 27 years now. But this year. And before that, it was 45. Listen, Jay, do you want to see Canada take the Cup? I just want to see the Rangers win one. Speaking of the Rangers, though, is this brings me to this. Um, we did hear reports that Henrik Lundqvist, his, his open heart surgery. Fine. He's good. He's doing well. He's good. He's going to retire. He's not going to come back after this. Yeah, you had the T. Yeah. You you were on point there, J.D. In my day, J.D., Montreal won every year. They were the... Other than the Yankees, they have won more championships than any other sports figure. Yeah. Montreal Canadiens. No, I remember, I remember going to the sports shop, right? And they have the banners. Like, you can purchase the banners. Yeah. All, all the Stanley Cups. And yeah. I, I was just looking at Montreal, like... They were unbelievable in my day. 60 years ago. So where's ours? <laughs> yeah. we I was like, where, where's ours? And they're like, <laughs> we had good teams. So. You got to remember, uh, in hockey, I'm sure J.D. remembers this. When Gretzky got there, after the Islanders won four straight, and they finally beat the Islanders, they won six cups. <laughs> six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, they had Gretzky and they had Messier. Messier scored 51 goals. Gretzky scored 90. <laughs> you know, that was an uh, unbelievable era, you know. And the guy that uh, managed him just died. This guy, uh, I think his name was Muckler. 
They uh, uh, actually put it on the screen today. Yeah, yeah, it was at eighty six. He was the uh, the coach. The greatest coach to me was the guy in Montreal. Can't think of his name offhand. Oh, God. what year? Oh, he was there in the seventies, eighties. Cause we got we got JD over here, JD. Oh my God, he was uh, he was unbelievable. Coach from Montreal, seventies, eighties. <laughs> totally different times, huh? Yeah. Be lucky to see sixty goals in a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well. This year, yeah. Esposito scored seventy-seven, and then Gretzky broke it with ninety-two. <laughs> what was what was the most amount of goals scored by one player ever? Gretzky. Gretzky. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. And holds the all-time record of all time. The yeah. all-time record of all time. The goals, yeah. And what's uh, Ovechkin trying to? Catch him. He's got about, uh, you know, 100 goals away. <laughs> yeah. What the hell was his name? <laughs> this is going to bug you. Google. You can't say Google. You got to say Hey, it. Google. Who was the Montreal Canadiens coach in the 70s and the 80s? Here's some information from the web that might possibly help. Scotty Bowman. According to some information I found on the website, this thing is great. Scotty Bowman, all-time winner of all time in hockey. He had the best uh, winning percentage and the most uh, Stanley Cups. Yeah, dude. Montreal won. Hey Google, how many Stanley Cups did Montreal win? I think it's twenty-three. Here's some information from the web that might possibly help. 24. According to some information I found on Close the website statista.com. I forgot about the 93 thing. So the funny the funny thing is everybody is so we got Papa K, he got me the Google Nest. Got Jackie and I the Google Nest uh, for Christmas. Isn't it great? <laughs> I think he got it for him. No, no, no. no. <laughs> No, no. No, I know, dude. I just. And it's supposed to play music. I request, but you said it has to have. It has to have YouTube Premium. Yeah, yeah. And Which honestly, I'm, to you. I'm okay with the way it is. I, I, I honestly you. think you need one of these in your house too. Yeah, but I have to have internet. I know, but if you're gonna, if you're, yeah, if you're gonna do, go, yeah, I know. Oh my God, I've been doing this all day. Hey, hey Google, Google, play. Uh... Oh my God, I almost said. Hey it. Google, stop listening. <laughs> Nothing's playing right now. So even if I requested a song, I wouldn't do it. No. Okay. You gotta have YouTube Premium. Okay. But see, that's something right there that I think, you know, if you're gonna be part of fantasy football, Dad, you want internet. I have to get it. Because like the the way I see it is is, and I'm okay with this. I think we should pay a hundred dollars a person. (laughs) No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. listen, You you coming into the league fresh. All right? Why don't you get a... I don't want to get... I'm only kidding. I don't want to gamble. Exactly. I want to have fun. And you you will have fun. Uh, Let me tell you something. Fantasy football? Yeah, I'll probably get my ass kicked the first year. Well, here's the thing. Live and learn. Here's the thing. I think you have a great knowledge, and I think you already know... There's nothing. No, no, but I think you already know, like... You know, bye weeks and stuff. You're not going to pick, like, four players I'm off the New York Giants. Year, and you're going to yeah. teach me. I'm, I'm going to help you all the way through. Yeah. And you know what? When we do the draft, mm-hmm. I'm going to have my laptop here. Uh, we'll have, if you have a laptop at that point, I'll yeah. have it hooked up here. Yeah. You'll have it set up literally right here on the stool. Yeah. We'll be side by side. And then any questions you have, I can literally come over here and go, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I like that. Just like that. Ba 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 boom. Ba ba. Look at the Devils, look at the Devils tonight with all six rookies, right? They lost in the shootout to the Bruins. Who has an established team? I just wonder how Lafreniere did today for the, for the New York Rangers. I can't tell you. Evidently, they did nothing because they didn't score. I think you should still watch the game to see how he looked on the ice. Yeah. It's too late. By the time I get home, I'll be going to bed. It doesn't start till like midnight. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be sleeping. Really, they they start ranges at sixty that late now? Uh, depends on the schedule, you know. Yeah. And what else is going on? Because uh, MSG does the Knicks, 
uh, yes, there's uh, Brooklyn, you know, so there's too many things going on back and forth. I'll see. Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm pissed already. <laughs> You know, it's week one. I it's know, the Rangers' first game. Got shut out. Rangers' first game, and this man over here is already like. Got shut out. Come on. In your home ice, you got shut out. Not even a goal. <laughs> what did they do wrong again? Which they did last year. Penalties. Rangers was one of the teams that had the most penalties per game. Now you got to start letting the you got to start learning to let week 1 slide a little bit. Not even let week 1 last year I'm telling you. Every game eight penalties. Power plays they allow. You can't do that. You have to play disciplined hockey. Yeah, nice go. No one almost hit me in the eye. Both teams that are good don't commit these stupid penalties. Look at the NFL as an example, right? Because you got honey roasted. That's why I can't do it right now. Gotcha. The, teams that com- <laughs> the teams that commit the least penalties are usually, what, successful, no? Well, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that, that's just like a given fact right there. Right. Exactly. The teams like the Jets. That's obvious. Yeah, 130 yards in penalties. But then again, you also, have, you also have teams that lose because of a lucky bounce. What do they always say in I hockey? Get it, I get it, but what not, do they say in hockey? Often, not too Shoot the puck because you never right. know what's going to happen. Right, right. But when you have a good team, they make the least mistakes. Jay Why? says Vancouver is always top penalty minutes. All right. Okay. They're right up there. That's why I haven't won. But that's the thing. That is that you get lucky bounces and stuff. It happens. Deflections. It's, it's, that's the beauty of hockey. It's part of listen, every You know, listen. Every listen. Sport. Listen. That's the beauty of all the sports, really. Because yeah. hockey, that yeah. puck. It's coming at you at like so 107 fast. miles per hour, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? This thing's co- zoom, coming at you, and still deflections and things happen. Like, or if you were to shoot something stuff. at me at 107 miles per hour, yeah. you wouldn't even see it. I wouldn't even know you did it. Yeah. I'd be like, he's winding up. I'm to you. The first goal today. The guy shoots a point from the islands to the point, to the goal. It hits a skate and goes right on Brock Nelson's stick, open net. Yeah, so, but that's, 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 goalie that's, has no chance. That's the beauty of it, though. But that's the flip Because of the it. thing is, is those are the rare moments. That's what makes hockey great. That's why you shoot to the net. That's why you always throw the puck at the net. All the time. I say that a hundred times. They don't even have an enforcer. Who? Cool. Uh, Vancouver. I hear Swift over there. Shoot at the net! <laughs> that's right. Hey, T- uh, uh, J.D.? J.D. In my day, Bobby Orr shot at the net. Every time, every time and he was on that, Esposito scored 77 goals. Because all he had to do was put the puck but in But that's the, the thing. It's like, Dad, I want to throw this at you, though. It's because you're sitting there. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. With sports, there's a lucky bounce. Think about how a football is shaped. And the thing's going to bounce in weird ways. A puck. But all these players, with all the traffic on the ice... And the stick goes up, bam, it goes in. Mm-hmm. Things happen. Yeah. But when it happens for your team, it's okay, right? Unless it's legit. But that's what I mean. Is it is legit. It's part of hockey. It's no, it's part not of... legit unless it, if it's over the shoulder, it's not legit. No, and you know what I mean. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I'm not saying let's, let's go out there either. freaking Jason Voorhees style and just... Ah, 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 no, no, ah, but it happens, ah, though. It happens. Ah, ah, and some guys kick the puck in. Or for shot. Illegal. It's illegal, but I'm saying the bounce. That's not what I'm, I'm talking about. The bounce is when it works. When it works. Yep, yep, yep. I know. And he said, shoot at the net. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Swift thought she said, Swift thought we said, shoot at the neck. No, the net. The, the net. net. <laughs> You know, the, 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 co- the coach is sitting there in hockey going... Kill him! <laughs> Shoot his fucking neck. <laughs> Maybe a little bit and of that's time. why they have the neck guard now instead of the Jason Voorhees mask. Not the uh, offensive players. Oh, my Only God. The goalies <laughs> <laughs> also stood on their feet at all times. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jay Swift, it's because of that. That's why they created the mask to go below the neck. Jay Swift, shoot at the neck! Shoot at the neck! Yeah, yeah. Well, Yo, Ace, 
In the in the head. Ace Ventura, when nature calls. Do you remember? Do you remember that sure, movie? Yeah. Oh, uh, Do you remember that scary. scene where he's sitting there and he goes, "I'm so close. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it like it's right in my <laughs> neck." <laughs> Run, Spike! <laughs> what about him? Uh, Jim, uh, Jim, Jim Carrey, he still does movies and shit. I haven't heard a damn thing about him. There's still one I want to check out, too. I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot at the neck! Alright, we're going to be interested in season with hockey. Especially if they go basketball. For the, the I neck. think uh, only uh, went down ten games. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I heard basketball seventy two games. So we know so seventy two. So we know hockey went down, Dre, and because they want to get the season started, mm -hmm. they want next season to start regularly. Yeah, and even with hockey, it'll go into June. No. at least. Right. Hockey in the summer. Biggest uh, hockey now. in the summer. They're hoping 162 games for baseball right now, and they're not sure about that because of COVID. Well, well you know what? As it, it'll be better than... Whatever they do is going to be better than 60 games. All right? Oh, yeah. No, it'll definitely be uh, more than 60, but obviously. Going going into going into a little baseball right now. Yeah. Pops, you made a damn good point, and something you heard as well on the radio. Go ahead. Is we're looking at a baseball season right now that a lot of... Fans are so pissed at MLB sure. yeah. that they they're like, nah, we're not coming back. Like between the bullshit, excuse my language, with the COVID, with with how like you we were saying right with the, how they acted like it was about money and everything like that. Oh yeah, because they they could have started the last year at eighty two games instead but they of were sixty. Proactive because of money, money, money. I heard they, they lost their... a lot of fans. Now, can't, will they come back? Probably. 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 Especially think, if they let them... I think, a, I think a good portion is fair to say. Especially if they let them get back in the seats. I think like 85% will come back. Probably, yeah. My thoughts. But? Not even just back in the seats, because let me tell you... Listen, 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 listen. Listen. When you're upset, you say, you say things out of anger. Yeah, and not mean it. You know, you sit there and you go... These guys, they did, oh, no, I get it. You know, it could have been eighty. Hey, Matthew, in my day, how many strikes were there? When well, people say, "I'm <laughs> never going back." Remember First day, opening day, full house. Remember how we looked at the beginning of the season mm -hmm. this year? We were just happy that that sports was coming back. Yeah, and that's another thing. I want to reminisce a little bit. We're talking about the one year anniversary of the show. Pops and Wiz Sportscast, one year anniversary. This was a very interesting year for us to even be doing sure, this show. Yeah, because yeah. it didn't even start then. Because, like, we got all excited about starting a sportscast, and then there was no sports. A and then we're like, what the later. What are we going to talk about? Every, everything ended, yeah. You know? Baseball stop, hockey we had stop. Weeks. So I remember just like when we started the sportscast that we were sitting there going, oh my God, <laughs> baseball. 60 games? I don't care. I don't care if they play 10 games. Put something on TV. But that took four months. Four months. Say things out of anger, the definition of me. I, I, artificial, come on. You don't... I, I, I get a vibe from you, and that's not the vibe I get, buddy. But we you know, we do that out of anger. You, we do, we do that, SPS. Yeah, as human beings, it does happen, regardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, sometimes but then, do. you know, you, you sit and you sleep on it, you think about it, and you're yeah, like... Yeah, but at the you moment, wake up, you may say it the wrong thing. You might say it the wrong way, it might come out the wrong way. How many times have people said that? Husband and wife to each other. Yeah, but we're talking sports. It, we're not talking no, about I, marital I, situations. No, I'm just saying that, the anger thing. That this isn't the the the, the, the Doctor Whiz and Papa go there. K. I'm just saying, you know, my analogy is marriage just, therapy show. What he just said, you could say the anger thing out of anger. Yeah, no, and we we all do it. We're all guilty of it at one point in time, and not one point, many points in time. You get pissed yeah. at something, you're like, yeah. ah, I'm gonna say some crazy shit right now. Sometimes you regret it. I've done it. And then you go I'm back, but here's the it. thing, is that if you regret it, that makes you human, right? right? Like, if you sit there and you go, 
Fight it as I didn't. I didn't mean that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch That's baseball this season. I was just pissed at that moment. There's a lot of crap going on. My boss was a dick today. You know, I didn't mean any of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but that's what that's what separates. Yeah. With all the shit going on in sports, I still watch sports because I love sports. Hell yeah. I've been watching sports, like I said, for 60 years. You think I'm going to stop now? And I've seen craziness. Like I said, strikes. Yeah. And uh, the nonsense going on in basketball. You know, if you're a net fan with this craziness. Yep. Come on. But see, Play it. the game you love. Artificial, that's what makes you human, though. Like, we all do it, though. You say things out of ammo, ammo. What? He didn't catch it. Nobody caught it. You said it. ammo. What? I said, said anger. out of ammo. You said... <laughs> the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what, what do you think? It's gaming night? It's Tuesday? <laughs> Say things out of hand. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shut him down. Oh my god. I was like, even what makes it funnier is that I was so like confident in what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. You say things out of ammo and you don't mean it. <laughs> Facts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> Oh my god. This <laughs> not judge. <laughs> what what switch did you use? The light switch. Yeah. Out of ammo story of my life. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, JD. <laughs> yeah, Frosty says facts. Don't mind me just dying, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Facts of life. Sometimes you say things out of ammo that you don't mean. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever laugh so hard you get lightheaded? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I think I oh, that one is great. Laugh so hard I start <laughs> coughing or sneezing. <laughs> Spitting on yourself, you know. Why? You gotta look like a real asshole. <laughs> Ray L, that's what makes you human. Right? Yeah, right, yeah. chat? Yeah, it yeah. happens to everyone that, you know, happens to me, happens to Bob and Kenny, happens yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't make you. The, sometimes they're like embarrassing moments. When you uh, do something happens to you, and you didn't mean it, but you didn't mean just, it. and it's later on you laugh your ass off. Yeah, you're like ah, I'm an ass. No, 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 it just happens. That's why we're human. Nobody's. <laughs> Jesus. <a, laughs> yeah, well, Frosty said he's laughing so hard he's getting hip cramps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what though? Listen, chat. I wanna. You you good here? You good here? We want to, I, I, I say right now, we give a cheers to everybody. Cheers. When you're on anniversary. Grab, grab your beer. Grab whatever you're drinking. Your water. Your, your soda. Your whatever. You, what are you doing? You got to wait till we all hang out oh, together. Oh, I thought you were ready. I was, I was in the middle of saying things, you crazy man. Stop with the... Uh, it's called a cheers, and then you do like some words, and then, uh, uh, right? Uh, and Pops is over there like... Ten minutes. Ah! Ten minute conversation. Ah. Finish it. But yeah, the one year anniversary of the Pops and Wish Sportscast, yo, everybody, thank you so much for supporting us and doing this and hanging out and having some laughs with us and having a great time. We hope you're having a great time because we are having a lot of fun doing this. Pops, you want to try this again? You good? You okay? We good? We good? I love you, Dad. Knock your ass. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Am I allowed? You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what? If we weren't in my... I mean, I wouldn't do it in your house either, but I thought, I legitimately thought about like, oh, you think you're funny? I was going to flick your beer can right off the table. Go for it. It's empty, isn't it? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Still talking about the Rangers. I know, I know. I'm a diehard Ranger fan. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, they got the cheese and the chats. I hope they beat the crap out of the next team they face because I got to see some uh, offense. <laughs> this is off my you get shut out on opening night. <laughs> How do you get shut out? <laughs> Buddy, I don't lose. Disgraceful. Yeah. I know the fans are probably saying, because <laughs> we're better than you. That's hey, why. Hey. And they are. Well, Pops, you got anything to add tonight? I'm done. I'm just I I'm dying to see what happens this weekend with these four games. It's gonna be very interesting. <laughs> and I have to win two of these games to get ahead of you. You gotta win one of those games to tie you. No, you have to win both those games because yeah, you went yeah. opposites on both sides right there. Yeah, yeah. On that side. I still think Green Bay's gonna win. Watch, watch it be the other way around. Watch. They lose and they win. <laughs> and we're still tied. I'm okay with that. I I don't see it. We got some cool cats in the chat. Oh, This man. is the, the biggest uh, question Cat. I have. Green Bay. Going to be super cold. Buffalo. Super cold. Possibly snow. Affects the game. It, didn't, the it game. didn't affect it for Green Bay? No, because they're used to it. They play in that shit every, uh, every uh, damn week in the winter time. Especially now. Man, I got to do something with these channel points. <laughs> if if it snows that day, LA's done. Because LA's from what? Obviously LA. They're never gonna be able to play in uh, cold weather. Zero degrees? No way. What I hold why so long? So artificial? <laughs> you know you know why artificial. But I told you, listen. I may not be the first one to cross the finish line, but I get there, you know. I Maybe mean, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Artificial and we, uh, flowers. We got, we, got, we got the Discord set up now. Is artificial young, old, do you know? He's younger, he's younger, yeah. Okay, so he wouldn't know that song. But uh, I said, you know, I'm a, I, I, I try my best to be a man of my word, something I learned from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, I, I, I've been like at work on my breaks and lunch and things like that. I've been re, you know just doing my little homework on Discord and, and figuring out how to how to use it. I'm still not 100 percent, so there is going to be some some learning. And I hope you be patient with me. We learn every day. Uh, we're learning. We yeah, we're we're learning something. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah. Every time. You know learning something new. You know every expression. Day. You learn something new every day, like you just said. Facts. Yeah, yeah. It's true. The marathon continues. That's right, Frosty. Yo, Frosty, don't think I forgot about zombies either, man. I, I, you know, I looked up the videos too. So this way, the next time you, me, and JD get in there, you know, we'll actually be able to give you some help getting the Easter egg done. Frosty's a one-man army when it comes to zombies. I'm surprised our Buffalo uh, fans didn't uh, tune in. He's giving a motivational speech. Y'all Buffalo fans, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Tune in. But again, today, tonight, tonight was a awesome time. And I'm so happy that everybody stopped in, hung out for, you know, hanging out. I just tried to put my beer in the peanuts. That would have been weird. Mm -hmm. See what you got to deal with? <laughs> hey, listen, you got to deal with me trying to put my beer in the peanuts. And then I got to worry about you getting the cut on your face every time we do the show. Not anymore. Not anymore. But we are Peter Sells fans, by the way. Yes. If you don't know what we're talking about. Clouseau. Pink Panther. But, uh, Funniest man I ever saw. We're going to end the show here. Again, everybody, thank you so much. Hanging out. Supporting us uh, all, up, you know, all the way right now. Our one year anniversary of the show. Yep. And watch the games this weekend. Yeah. If you're sports football fans, going to be very interesting games. Throw you a peanut. I got you. I got you, Frosty. Ready for it? This will be the one time it connects. Wow. Called it. About time. You Called just, it. Like, Frosty said, throw me a peanut. Yeah, one hit me in the eye. That's okay. 
Frosty said, throw me a peanut. I got Frosty you, buddy. And we got the cool cats in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Frosty, he's out of his mind. Yeah. Look at that, tell you. You peeps are legends. You're amazing. Thank you so much. We hope you have a wonderful evening. And, and have a great a, football weekend. And a great football weekend. I'll catch you guys Tuesday. Yep. Yep. Tuesday night for the gaming, and we'll yep. be, you know, we yep. got the schedule back to normal, so Tuesday's gaming, Thursday's fo uh, football, Thursday's yeah. sportscast, and then, you know, if I if, if we throw a Saturday stream in, you'll Don't know. Don't forget, next week when we talk about football, you're going to be talking about a lot of hockey, too, mm -hmm. and if you're a basketball fan, I'm going to follow the Knicks and the Nets, see what happens with Kyrie. All right, y'all, artificial take care. JD throwing GGs in the chat. Oh, the Frosty putting some more cool cats in the chat. Oh, Grim, Grim's still here. My God. Grim left. I don't know. I, I can only tell hey, you Grim. what I see, you know. I can only tell you what I see in the chat. But, yeah, Grim, everybody, we'll catch you next week. Don't make this over. Take it easy, meow. <laughs>